Hello and welcome once again to more great VFL action in pro football. This week we journey out to the Western Oval where the home side Footscray, who've really been having a run of the horrors, take on North Melbourne, another of last year's finalists struggling a little bit in the 86 season. But particularly for Footscray, this game was of absolute importance. Should they drop this one, they could just about, according to coach Mick Malthouse, forget about aspirations of the final five for this season. That is how important the game was. Let's now join our commentators out at the Western Oval for the game between Footscray and North Melbourne in this week's edition of VFL Action in Pro Football. Welcome ladies and gentlemen to round seven of the pro football game today out here at the Western Oval between Footscray and North Melbourne. I'm your commentator Greg Geller with me. Uh, just as the siren has gone there is Stephen Phillips and Stephen been a few changes as they bounce the ball. Yes, umpire McDonald it is who's putting the ball down for the start and North Melbourne through Purser. Get it over to Royal. He's kicked sm uh, smothered over to Glenn Dinning out to the flank. A number of first gamers in the side. Hawkins in the side for Footscray after some injury problems during the week. And North Melbourne right into attack. Very safe mark there and, uh, by Segler. Looking like he's going to settle down. He's going to go back and have a good long shot here. North Melbourne very quick to get the ball mo moving out of the centre of the ground there. They have to take his kick now. He's a big long kick. Oh, don't think that'll make the distance. No, it's offline, out of bounds and through for one point. We've got the score now at the uh, one and a half minute mark of the first quarter. Footscray uh, yet to score with North Melbourne one point. Dreadful kicking action by Segler, the way he uh, dropped the ball onto his boot then. And the margin for error. And as we saw, went right off the side. Well, we've seen here you can lose a game in the reserves, haven't we? With one kick on the siren going out of bounds. Could have been a draw that game. The kick out now is uh, taken out. The boys are... Oh, lovely mark there taken by um, uh, Hawkins. Hawkins now deciding to settle down a bit. Goes back, takes his kick heading towards the, uh, the wing position. The players are up all over the place. They're trying to get a mark. Down on the ground. Oh, oh yes. Riding him to the ground. The umpire oh, the saying umpire. play on. It's Dwyer who gets the ball onto his boot. Centres it in. And one of the crackers is sent straight to the ground. Hawkins in there again. And the umpire, and it will be umpire Dennis Rich, will come in and bounce the ball. Half forward flank. Barclay Street, end of the ground. Ross Glendinning, the acting captain of North, won the toss. And kick with the aid of a slight breeze. The hand pass out. It's Jimmy Cracker, lines up. Offline again. Through for another behind. North Melbourne started off with two behinds. Footscray yet to score. The conditions out here, Greg, um, a slight breeze, nothing special. The ground a bit holding, as we see Kennedy. A very high kick into that breeze. No one able to take the mark. It's Dwyer who scoops the ball up beautifully. Looks for the pass, looking for Cracker. He's just pushed out of the way. Kennedy through again. Has a long run. In fact, good 25 metres there. When Denning underneath it, a small nudge, he takes the mark. Thinks of the hand pass to Ackley. Beautiful disposal, this man. Back after injury, he'll take oh. the 15 metres. In fact, it's a very healthy 15 metres. And uh, I've seen players kick goals from this distance. He goes for the hand pass to Ackley. Ackley's drop punt, a high kick. Segler underneath the ball, has the ball punched away. This is Phil Cracker. Magician with the ball. Doesn't waste a kick, nor does he that time. And he finds Donald McDonald, and McDonald is about 25 metres out. He's a monstrous kick when he lets one fly, and he should have no trouble. Accuracy, his only worry. Great pair of hands. Donald takes his time, head over the ball. Picture of concentrations, he comes in. The kick. Offline, oh, a shocking. very poor start. Mm. Well, there you have it now. See, that's just had three deliberate kicks for goal there by North Melbourne, and uh, all three of them offline. Uh, they're taking them on out of three points exactly to Footscray yet to score. This is the kick out taken by Kennedy. Oh, rushing forward to take the mark there. Zubo, oh, trying to be upset there. Um, uh, it was Dwyer. Dwyer now turns around. To, sorry, Dwyer, I was saying Foster. Foster. It's easy to do, isn't it? We're oh, yeah. the same and both right. out in the same area. Yeah. Very much. Anyway, the umpire's decided that he's, uh, he's found a free kick, and that is through Spargo. 
Spargo now taking a oh, big, long driving kick, wanting to get it right up to the pack there. The players are running for the ball, and Phil Cracker just missed getting in touch before it's over the line and out of bounds. In the right-hand forward attacking pocket for the uh, North Melbourne football side. Up that Paul Spargo, there. who had the kick then, his father, Bob, played many games for Footscray and was a member of their last grand final side back in 61. Oh, yeah. Footscray come out again through Royal. Usually a terrific kick. Goes wide Glenn Dinning out there, using his weight well. Good tackle then. McPherson could well have been penalised. Roscoe's burrowing in there again. The free kick will go Footscray's way. He was the only man having a go at the ball then, but uh, anyway, the umpire decided he could see it differently. And this is Rance. He's going out wide. He's looking for McPherson. Oh. He gets unloaded very nicely indeed by John Law. A very vigorous type of play. The ball out of bounds. Half forward flank. OK, so the umpire's... Uh, oh, hang on a second. Here we go. The kick-in's been taken there. Down to the... Uh, to the centre position there and a good defensive play taken there by Footscray. Bringing the ball, oh, a long strong mark there. Ball now, looking for someone to kick it to, bringing it back into the centre of the ground, looking up to the centre half forward. Beasley's leading out, he looks pretty set. No, oh, Glenn Dinning, well placed himself, even though he'd been a bustling out. Hand passes across, now running across the, uh, the face of centre half forward, a long driving kick out to the forward flank. Here's a good tussle coming here now between. like a bit of one but under pressure McCann now McCann hand passes over the top two looking for um, Norman Norman now kicking ahead through to oh look at that missed an easy mark there uh, Jimmy Cracker, Cracker picks it up scoops around drives it up in the only zone he should be able to take a comfortable mark oh up the rubbery chest Footscray now really looking hard to try is Kennedy battling hard to push that ball over the line out of bounds he's a tough back man too Kennedy Another scoring opportunity for North Melbourne. They've had three shots at goal, kicked three behinds. Footscray yet to score. Kennedy in the ruck against Segler, who spilt that very easy chest mark before. Segler bustles him out. Over to Fairley. Kick towards goal. Picked up by the Footscray backman. They clear well. Bit of a nudge there. The umpire lets it go. It's Dwyer who picks it up. Looks for the pass and finds a teammate there. And he has found Donald McDonald who missed an easy shot from goal from about 30 metres out just a few minutes ago. Should be able to put this one through and try and make up for his last shocker. Well, McDonald can make the distance, there's no question about that. Very straight kick too. He's McDonald it up. comes in. Torpedo punt this time. It's a wobbly old kick off. North Melbourne unable to get the ball away that time. Massive players there. Finally, it's out through Footscray's Jep. Attlee under it. Grabs the ball, he's held when he's not in possession. Another holding the man decision. This one will go Footscray's way, surely. I don't know why uh, umpire Rich let one go and then paid one to Hawkins. But that's just the luck of the draw. Dougie Hawkins in and out of the state squad during the week. But by playing today, he's made himself available for Victoria on Tuesday night. He finds the reigning Brownlow medalist, Brad Hardy. Hardy playing his 150th game in senior football in Victoria and Western Australia. Massive players on the wing. And Glenn Dinning, who's having a sparkling first quarter, over to Ackley. Ackley centres the ball, and it's a nice oh, mark yes. there. A good mark to Fairley. Now, Fairley is definitely within scoring distance. Goes for that, the short pass. McDonald again has picked up the ball, put it on his left foot, and it's through for one point. Wasted opportunities here by North Melbourne. They have had all the play, and they just can't do a thing right. Kennedy waiting for the ball. Four behinds to nil. It's a woeful start, really. Oh, I say it is. You know, that's given them an opportunity. They've had most of the play for this quarter so far and haven't had a chance to capitalise at all. And it's not for it's not for though they're under pressure. It's just bad kicking. Kennedy's kick. That wind just holding it up a little. Hawkins doing quite well out there on that uh, that flank at the moment. Might be just a bit too good for Dwyer at the moment. His kick around to the wing. A big leap up before acceptance. His play on says the umpire. Down towards the half forward flank, and it's a nice mark taken down there by Rance. He's written to the ground, he'll take the penalty. I don't think he'll be within kicking distance. He plays on straight away. He's looking for the lead from Beasley. Intercepting there is Norman, the umpire, is pulling the ball back. Back to Murray Rance. He fits by his top recruits this year. Now, Rance might just be within kicking distance. He thinks he is. He's lining the ball up now. Drop it on that left foot. Kick. Right across the face of goals. Out of bounds on the full. And 
with the ball now is Steve McCann. Right, we're at the uh, 10 minute mark of this quarter now. Steve McCann kicks the ball down. There's a pack setting themselves up here. The players flying up. Uh, punched out there. Uh, ball has gone down to the ground. Oh, there's a scramble of players, but oh no, that was pulled out by Akiri. Akiri now over to Steele. Steele drops the ball. Oh, almost nicely intercepted there. Rance running in there to try to tackle the ball uh, with uh, Fairley doing everything he can there to try and upset the whole balance. Umpire's decided that it's better that he uh, has a hold of the ball. That's Rich with the ball. He's bouncing now. Slightly favouring North Melbourne's end. Jonas is bustled out by Purser. Oh, high tackle then. The umpire lets that one go on Norman. In fact, he pulls one out and gives it to Jonas. I think he will throw it back to Norman. No, he can't decide whether to throw it back or have the kick himself. But Peter Jonas it is. Right in the centre. Tumbling punt kick. Ball punched away. Here's a chance for Fairley. He's ridden to the ground. The umpire says holding the man in the back. Oh. And it will be Ian Fairley. It was a bit each way there too, I thought, Steve. And I could have gone either way. I thought that... Uh that he might have been caught holding the ball, but uh, the umpire didn't see it that way. He dropped it like a hot potato, and uh, the Footscray player rode him straight to the ground. Now they've kicked four, four behind straight, fairly. That one's right through the middle. First goal, and we might just uh, have a look at that free kick again. It was a little bit contentious, but uh, I was under the impression that fairly felt the, uh, the tackle, got rid of the ball quickly, and... Uh, Helped himself to a free kick yeah, right in front. It a lot easier, I thought, too, for, um, for Fairley there, who's put uh, uh, the North Melbourne's first goal on the board at this stage, and that takes them now to one goals for 10 points. And Footscray yet to score, and we're now into about the 11 minute mark of this first quarter. Um, I really think that Footscray better do something very quickly. Beasley's been caught twice now, a little bit slow down in the forward line when they have kicked down there. Uh, but anyway, the uh, umpires now bounce the ball, they're up in the centre of oh, the tap out there. Brad Hardy scooped the ball up out of there. Dropped it down with the Cracker. One of the Cracker brothers there has taken the kick. Down left of the forward uh, pocket position now. Down the forward flank, I should say. Oh, and uh, here he is again. The man just kicked the last goal fairly. Trying very hard, but no. Over the line and out of bounds and pushed over by Jep. Jep's been used as a stopper by Footscray since uh, he left Richmond. He's on Jonas today. Jonas will be the danger man up forward. McGuinness burrowing in, he can't get it. Hardy in there too, two of the big interstate names. The umpire, and this is umpire McDonald, will come in and bounce the ball. Or umpire Howe, I should say. Umpire Howe. Mm. Purser gets the tap down. This is Wallace. High drop punt. He's looking for McPherson. Oh, high fly there. What a beauty. Lovely. And that's Rance. Murray Rance. Straight onto the left foot. Awful kick. Lux of fortune, finds Rob McPherson. McPherson's kick almost hits Royal on the head. Follows up. It's in there again, Royal burrowing in there. Out the Bambler playing his first game for the season. Bambler, clever play. Keeps his feet, has a kick for goal. Offline, out of bounds on the full. Free yeah, kick to North Melbourne. A gutsy better play that, a lovely shot for goal. Didn't come off. John Law will bring yes. the ball straight back into play. Spargo gets the punch down, throw in. It was a good piece of play by Bambler. But uh, some scrappy play by Footscray. They're not using the ball all that well, nor for that matter, uh, North Melbourne. Oh. They've had uh, one goal from five scoring chances in the first 11 minutes. By my thinking, they should be three or four goals up. It's Glenn Dinning, who's playing a great game, gets the ball down. Hardy off the side of his boot. Into the crowd, another free kick. Oh, once again, we see some shocking kicking, Steve. It, uh, it doesn't look good at all. I know that perhaps you could say that North Melbourne put him under pressure. Uh, that looks like McCann there, about to take the kick in. McCann looking for someone to kick it to. Segler is up there trying to get under it. No, but oh, lovely mark up there was uh, trying to get up for the ball. Kicked out of the pack now. Coming down here. Punched out of the way. That's Wallace gets game. a hand pass across. He was there looking for Baxter. Baxter infringes there. Dwyer's unloaded. Jonas off the ground towards the boundary line. This will be a race. Kennedy first in and slides over. He's content to have the throw in. In the back pocket, the forward pocket for North Melbourne. He's got a tough job today, the Footscray skipper. He's playing on Donald McDonald. He's hurrying back to the square to cover him now. In the picture, Jonas and Jep. Jep 12, Jonas 43. Punch out Jep in there. McGuinness with the ball. Off the ground. Not a good kick off the ground. Footscray clear. And a mark there to Spargo. The umpire says it will be a mark. I didn't like the hand going up into McGuinness's face, but Spargo 
He is within scoring distance. Kelvin Templeton's kicked many goals from there early in his career for Footscray. Spargo's kick. Cracker down there. He's up. Can't hold the mark. Kennedy gets it away. And plays it along the boundary line. The ball is finally rushed over the line by Peter Baxter of Footscray. Yes, Jonas trying to bustle Kennedy out of the way then. It was good to try and get the pressure on. Uh, at that stage, I think you'll find that Footscray found themselves a bit lacking in the back line there. And the ball thrown in now. The big boys up there at the moment fairly trying to get the tap out. Knocked down to the ground now. Handballed out of the way by Glenn Dinning again. The ball is now... Oh, everybody bustling for the ball. Picked up, scooped up lovely. Oh, nice little piece of play. Onto the left foot and down there we find Glenn Dinning getting up high over the top. It couldn't quite get it. Pushed it down to the ground. He's looking for someone. It's a big kick high in the air and it's out of bounds on the floor. Can't remember a scrappier start to a game for quite a long time. The number of times the ball's been kicked out of bounds on the full. Set shots missing. And... Uh, a lot Glenn of Dinning's playing a magnificent yes. game in defence for North Melbourne, but that kick uh, was not Ross Glenn Dinning at his best. Purser at his, who marks unattended. He's checked now by Spargo. Purser will centre the ball. It's a nice high drop punt. And there's a bit of bustling there. The umpire allows it. It's Ackerley with the ball. Dangerous player off the back line. He's unloaded as he kicks the ball. Running down the ground. North Melbourne player. Like fairly ball back up towards Glenn Dinning again, got his name on it. But that time it's Rance, he's taken a couple of brilliant marks. Yes. They've got to get the ball down quickly to Beasley before things are congested. Rance, long left foot torpedo. Beasley down there fighting and struggling against McCann, and the ball finally pushed through for behind. And that's Footscray's first score. They've taken nearly 16 minutes. They trailed North Melbourne by nine points. Interesting that uh, Footscray's first score was rushed over the line by a North Melbourne player. <laughs> There's the pass out there. It's, oh, it looks like McPherson out there running at that North Melbourne player. And the free kick will go North's way. The man with the ball is Peter German, a very, very talented young footballer indeed. Peter German now takes a kick, centres it up there. The boys, oh, cracker, straight off the pack. They scooped it up. He was sharking around there looking for it. Out to his brother, who's running like mad. There's a good tussle here. Oh, he's on his own now. There he goes. Go for it now. He turns around, has a scoop, sets it back up in the centre. They're up in there. No one can take the mark. Footscray now on the ground. It's, uh, oh, he intercepted McDonald. McDonald trying very hard there. Handballing it out of the way there and trying to be picked up. Atkins here with Atkins the ball. Atkins and Atkins now sweeping around onto his left foot. Brings it up to the centre half forward. No, oh, yes. Is he going to pay the mark? The umpire is called play on. Footscray players really trying desperately now to scoop the ball out there. Really trying hard to get it down. Ball now Wallace. picked up Wallace. McPherson. Over to McPherson. McPherson now handballing. They've got the handball going. Doesn't Purser, big kick into the centre half forward position now. Uh, they're having a look there with Baxter trying his hardest to uh, see what he can organise. Oh, there's ball up here. No, he's caught it too high. Yes. Well, I thought he was sitting on the ball, Purser. I really thought the cracker should have got there, but nonetheless, so he's decided to play the ball to Baxter. Baxter's going to go back and have a shot. Well, I don't know whether he can make the distance, I doubt it. They're <laughs> leading out with Beasley here. Oh, nudge Beasley, there. Beasley, oh yes, how do you like it? They're really covering Beasley. No, he's taken, oh, quickly. Royal it is. off the back by Royal. Around onto the right foot, straight through. Does it look good? The umpire's looking. It's a point. So there you go now. We have at the, uh, what would you call, the 17-minute mark of the first quarter here at the Western Oval. Foots grade two points. North Melbourne, one goal, 4-10. Steve McCann, possibly one of the best kicks in the side. I think I'd be looking for Ross Glendinning if I was him. And that's exactly where he's going. Straight down the guts of the ground to Ross Glendinning. Glendinning got the sit. Can't quite get the ball though. It's Royal again, uses his pace. Tackled. Punched away by Hawkins. Back to Royal. On the left foot. Tackled there by Jimmy Cracker. Bamblet. Skillful player. All over him. The umpire will come in and bounce. Ackley, quite content. They just sit there and grab hold of that ball and wait for umpire Rich to come in and bounce. Footscray's attacking zone, they've kicked two balls, they've scored two points, one was rushed. Segler in the ruck. Tap down and the umpire has found a free kick and it will go to Footscray. Rance. Rance again, he's had a heap of kicks so far this quarter. Impressive. High kick, rainmaker. Ball on the ground, off the ground by McPherson. Footscray's first. Kicked about 18 minutes into the quarter. And Steve McPherson. 
can be a mercurial player. Well, that was a very good shot, actually, the way he was able to just happen to be in the right place at the right time there. The ball dropped to the ground straight off the boot through the goals. I mean, it's funny, isn't it? They're kicking goals off the ground, but when they're having deliberate shots, they can't do anything with them. Well, of course, today is FA Cup final day in England, and uh, Steve McPherson showing them exactly how to do it, drilling one right into the back of the net. North Melbourne through Segler get the ball down, but Purser comes out with it. He's playing a good first quarter. Glenn Dinning, he's the star of the game so far. Yes, that was unnecessary. And a 15-metre metre penalty. Uses the ball well. He's going straight out here to the flank. It's a lovely-looking kick. Norman. And he finds his teammate in Rick Norman. Hand pass on straight away to Donald McDonald. McDonald tries to swing the ball around. And Phil Cracker looks at him, shakes his head. And there'll be a free kick down there taken by Brad Hardy in over. the back pocket. Can't get over the number of bad kicks, Steve, on this uh, quarter so far. Shocking. It's a strange type of ground, and the players tend to run down and then kick straight out of bounds on the full. But Hardy's kick. McDonald underneath it, taps it over the back. Norman, centres, punch down. Coming through is Jonas, a dangerous player. Cops one around the head. The umpire says it'll be a free kick to Peter Jonas. He's about uh, 25 to 30 metres out from goal. He hasn't had a set shot yet. It was lucky that punch didn't connect too. Yeah, I don't think it would really matter all that much to Peter Jonas. <laughs> Coming onto the ground at the moment is Phil Malin making his first senior appearance for the year. He's replacing number 36, Matthew Hanabry, playing his first game. But here comes Jonas's kick. Ooh, hard one. The umpire's down there, one behind. 1-5 one to 1-2. It's a low-scoring game, Steve, at uh, the 20-minute mark now. Eight points, Foots Gray, to um, at North Melbourne, 11 points. The kick out now being taken by Kennedy. He was looking for someone to kick to there. Out right into the deep into the forward flank zone there. The players went up, but it's over the line and out. Lucky was touched too. Dougie Hawkins there right in the middle of picture. Went for the big fly, and he's had a cloud over him, and uh, he's the player that Foots Gray really have missed this year, giving him that drive. But it's Kennedy who gets the punch down. Arsiri... Uh, Dodges nicely, beautiful play. He's been a very good player this year for North. All punched down and punched towards the boundary line, chasing it. There, number 26 is Peter Baxter. All right, we're in the forward pocket zone now. I, the game's been a bit scrambly. Both teams tend to be having quite tight back lines. The forward line's not been creative enough at all. The knockout there being tried, very difficult uh, down to the ground. That's been scooped up as a shot for goal here. Uh, Siri. Yes, uh, Siri looks like, yes, he's picked it up. Got a lovely goal too, and that was just straight off the hands. The back of the pack, so that's uh, the second goal now being kicked by uh, North Melbourne. That uh, takes them on to two. There, the scoreboard was the, he had the wrong two. The scoreboard now, North Melbourne, two goals, five to Footscray, one goal, two. And we're just currently at the 22nd minute mark of the first quarter here at the Western Oval. Our Siri's a most improved player this year. I've seen him a couple of times, and that was a lovely piece of roving. Ball back down in the centre, umpire Howe. It's Purser who's dominated the centre center knocks. Ball punched away, and up forward again. Arsiri in with it again. Bustle out of the way, that time by Malin. Free kick, it'll go north's way to Arsiri. Silly bit of play by Phil Malin. He's too experienced to do that, and could well have given away the penalty. Arsiri in the centre of the ground. He's looking for a lead. Generally uses the ball pretty well. Looking for Segler. And Segler comes out with it. That's He's a, a good big mark. boy, isn't he? He's a solid-looking fella, too. That was a beautiful mark. And now let's have a look at this kicking style of his. He took a mark right in the first minute of play, and we saw him. He drops the ball onto his boot with just one hand, uh, which leaves you so much margin for error. It's a wobbly kick, too. Lovely He's a, each time. And He's, He's a, a big boy. <laughs> He's had plenty of pies for <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> he comes in. Let's watch this style. Two hands on the ball that time. Very similar style to the Cracker Brothers, actually. <laughs> but unfortunately, not as straight as the through. Cracker Brothers, no, not at all. Two goals, six. Eight scoring shots for two goals. Ten points the margin. 24 minutes gone in this first quarter. Oh, Brad here at Hardy the Western has just picked up a lovely mark there as he's kicked out the back. He slid to the ground. Brad looking to settle the players down there. Hardy taking his kick down to the wing position, the players are setting themselves up, nobody can take the markers down to the ground Arsiri again, looked like he was being held but the umpire's called play on, Arsiri again has picked up the ball, no, umpire's pulled it up and said it's a free kick that's and, Wallace, uh, that's going to be taken by Wallace, Wallace handballs over now to Jep, Jep, oh what are we doing here, scooped around intercepted by the Cracker brothers there with running through, oh that's Jimmy Cracker trying his hardest he fell over, couldn't quite keep control of the ball 
and uh, that makes sure that Saunders sees that ball over the line and at least gives him a chance for a bit of a throw in and settle the team down. Very loose, very loose play on the forward line. Really can't uh, see much. If you have a look down now at the scores, balls are in, couldn't quite take it there. Scrappy play, Arsiri uh, again, he's into everything the last couple of minutes. He's not too happy with the umpire there looking at the screen. He would rather, rather see that he got something for that. Umpire how to bounce the ball. In fact, he's throwing up the ball. Players settling themselves, jostling everywhere. No one can really get hold of the ball. Kennedy was caught with that. Umpire says, give it to me and we'll see what we can do. Fairly really keeping a close eye on uh, Kennedy. I like Fairley. I think he's a very impressive player. Here he comes now. Speak of the devil. Screws it back around towards the square. One man out. Poor Mark. Lack of concentration. Norman screws it over his shoulder. And that's the third goal for North Melbourne. Kicked at the 25-minute mark by Rick Norman. Great well, piece of anticipation, but what a mistake down there. That just goes to show you this sort of thing. He was in the right place at the right time. The mistake was there. He was ready to pick up the ball. Scooped around. Luckily for him, he was able to get around on the right foot and a quick shot straight through goal. I think uh, a case of taking the eyes off the ball, and you can't afford to do that right on the edge of the goal square and you look at the scoreboard and see a 16 point margin as umpire rich comes into bounce about five minutes remaining in this quarter nine shots to three shots ball down purser with a thumping punch out attempted to be tapped on by rance he couldn't quite get the get to the ball good tackle there it's cracker who comes out jimmy cracker beautiful play beautiful spin looking for his brother phil phil two grabs at it can't grab it jonas in there too could have been dropping the ball. The umpire is content to let play it go on. It's Atkins gets the handball out. North Melbourne looking very confident up forward. Their kicking has let them down. Footscray will clear. But out here, looks like Donald McDonald running towards the boundary line. Can't keep it in play. The umpire has his hand up. There will be a throw in, Donald. Nothing you can do about it. Throw in, half forward flank, grandstand side. North Melbourne kicking with the aid of a relative, uh, relatively slight breeze. Yes, there's not much in it here, and uh, I really think that McDonald there was really hoping for a little bit of prey that uh, no one saw that. They had the run of the ball at the time. Nonetheless, the uh, players are settling themselves now. The umpire's about to throw the ball in. A little bit of jostling going on. It's pretty even tussle in the ruck here at the moment. Oh, tapped out by Purser. Down to the ground now, and picked up by Malin. Malin's pushed back over the ground there. Oh, yeah, look at that. Norman picks it up again. Cracker taps it over beautifully. Lovely shot there by Jonas. Jonas drives the ball down into the uh, forward pocket, into the square position. Brad Hardy makes sure that it's rushed over the line for a point. So now that takes the score on to Footscray. One goal to eight points to North Melbourne. Three goals, 7.25. And we're at oh, the 27-minute mark of this first quarter. Won't be much time left to play now. Kennedy drives the ball out to that outer flank. It's Doug Hawkins who punches the ball along the ground. Good piece of play over to Brad Hardy, the Brownlow medalist on the left foot. Kicks it wide. He's looking for McPherson, but it's a great mark out there taken by Stephen Hickey. Hickey, centre wing position. That's a better looking kick. High flyers needed, high flyers found. And that's Peter German. As I said earlier, this boy is stamped with class. He's slow getting rid of the ball. Segler underneath it. Punched down by Kennedy. It's Phil Cracker. Watches the ball go over the line and out of bounds. North a little slow getting the ball up forward. They've had plenty of opportunities in this first quarter and kicked three goals from ten scoring opportunities. The throw in. Front position, it's Purser. Has the ball tapped away from him. There's an umpire. The umpire has found a ruck infringement to Purser, who's had a very good first quarter indeed. High kick. Big jump. Good attempt down there. German gets the handball out to Spargo. High torpedo punt. Rainmaker. One against two. Segler in there. No chance. Ball finally thrust out. Coming out with the ball now. Jep. Jep wide. Rance can't take the mark. He's had a good quarter. It's Rod McPherson who comes out with it. He's dropped punt. Looking for his brother Steve. It's tapped down then by number 24, Stephen Hickey. The ball over the boundary line. Hello, Mum. All the people in the crowd. So you can see yourself on the telly. So uh, I did not much time to go in this quarter. In a very low scoring quarter. I would give it a minute to go. The tap out there, down on the ground. Umpire has found a free kick. And yeah. I didn't pick up who that was then. This is Stephen Wallace with the oh, handball. Yes. Over Wallace. to Brad Hardy. Now, Hardy. Let's have a look at Hardy's disposal this time. 
That's a lovely kick to Bamblett. He might be a bit, a bit match, uh, might be quite match fit. No, I don't think so, but he's certainly got the tenacity and he's really trying there. Lucky to, to uh, not get away with that one, but the umpire Howe has decided that he's going to bounce the ball. Bamblett looking very keen to get back into the seniors and stay there. Royal sitting down, waiting for Beasley going up against the, the pack there. Oh, look at that. And speak of the devil, too late. Bamblett trying to have a shot for goal, and that uh, takes us out for the end of the first quarter here at the Western Oval. Footscray, one goal, two, eight points, trailing North Melbourne, three goals, 7.25. You with Pro Football's match of the day out here at the Western Oval. Footscray and North Melbourne. North Melbourne leading after the first quarter, 3.7.25. Footscray 1-2-8, a woeful first quarter really up forward for North Melbourne, kicking those seven behinds. But with me is Greg Gill. And Greg, this coverage going right around Australia. Special hello to, hello to our friends in Darwin, in Bordertown. And those people in Bordertown, they won't know who to barrack for in the state game on Tuesday night. South Australia and Victoria. Yeah, it's big chance. And the ball just being bounced up. Purser trying hard to scoot the ball out there. Picked up, kicked down towards the centre. Everyone flying up. Jimmy Cracker trying to get him. A fairly handball's out now. Picked up. Dwyer it is. He's Dwyer, a... Dwyer bounces the ball, has a shot for goal. Is there anyone down there? Oh, no, it's a shocking kick again. Ball overrun. Segler trying his hardest to push the ball through, and it's gone over the line for one point. So a very quick score to North Melbourne. A minor task, uh, three goals, 8.26. Footscray, one goal, two, eight points. And uh, don't drink too much while you're watching the game in those pubs, boys. Uh, yeah, remember, you've got to get home. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. These are massive players on the... Uh, Wallace tackling the umpire he's got Spargo on top of him the umpire will come in that's umpire Howe clear the bodies away he's going to throw the ball up he signals to the Ruckman Purser I thought has been uh, Footscray's outstanding player in the first half John Law vice captain of North Melbourne taps it out to Brad Hardy Hardy forced to kick almost over his shoulder kicks it high ball taken away there it's Donald McDonald written to the ground by Steve McPherson Phil Malin and they're playing his first game for the season. 35, Darren Baxter. Ball will be thrown in half forward flank for North Melbourne, outer side of the ground. Quite a mild day out here at the Western Oval. The breeze, if anything, favouring Footscray this quarter, blowing down to the, from the Geelong Road end down to the Barclay Street end. And it's Malin who kicks the ball out, looks for Royal. Royal unloaded over the boundary line. The umpire says there'll be a throw in, no infringement. He found his benefit, he found his trouble there. Glenn Dinning was right down on top of him then as the ball now is to be thrown in by the boundary umpire. Players are setting themselves. We've got McDonald going up against Purser, tapped down by Purser. Royal trying to pick the ball up, but laying all over the top, and the umpire says you better give it back to me. Right in front of the Footscray coach's box, over on that far side of the ground, Mickey Malthouse. The boys all standing there watching the action right underneath them. The ball thrown up. Purser gets the tap down, he's got virtually every tap and Rod McPherson runs the ball over the boundary line and there you can see Mickey Malthouse up there in the front row looking down, Wayne Walsh alongside him and all the brains trust there watching the action as Purser palms the ball down and he will take a free kick, the umpire says he was being held when uh, he attempted to knock the ball down a good looking build of a ruckman it's a huge torpedo Looking for Beasley. Beasley at the back of the pack comes out with the ball. Rance down there. Glenn Ginning's kick smothered. It's Steve McPherson who's kicked the only goal. Offline that time. Through for behind. Footscray. They move to 1-3-9. They trail North Melbourne by 17 points. And we're waiting for Steve McCann. McCann. Dream start to league football coming into the 1977 grand final sides. Played in both the draw and the replay. A premiership after only four games. It's Purser. Handballs it out. Donald McDonald. Ooh, the arm up there by McPherson. And a free kick right down here. The half-back yes, line. by Norman. And Norman's going to go back and take that kick. John Law. John Law. Uh, Norman was involved. Sorry. Uh, John Law takes a big kick now. Driving it down past the to the wing position towards the centre. It's a scooped up off the pack now and kicked back into... Is anybody waiting there? Bamblett trying hard to fly for a mark. No one can take the ball. It's cleared now uh, by Purser. Purser, oh, the ball's gone over to a North Melbourne player in uh, McDonald. McDonald now trying hard to handball back into the play. Picked up again. Picked up by Hickey. Hickey trying hard to clear the ball. Picked up by Cracker and running through. It's a big kick down to the centre half forward position. They fly for the mark. Nobody can take the kick. Oh, Atkins the couldn't quite grab him. The yes, umpire has found it. Yes. Go to Graham Atkins. Yeah, well, Atkins he was diving in for that ball. Out. 
Yeah, he should be able to put this through. It's a pretty easy kick. Somebody looks a bit hurt there off camera. You can't quite see. He's a Footscray player in the hands of the trainer. He looks very sore too. Taking the kick now as he centres it up. Now Pies moved off to one side and it's through for one point. Kicking practice for North Melbourne next week. They've kicked three goals, nine. 27. They lead Footscray. They should be leading Footscray by six or seven goals at the moment. Kennedy puts the ball back in, straight down the ground, not a particularly good kick, two North Melbourne players, it's Atkins again, gets the hand pass across, oh German, he's spoiled by Phil Cracker, lines up, Peter German, and Kennedy right on the goal line, he'll take the mark, the clearing, the clearing kick he was looking for to Malin. Absolutely no pressure applied then whatsoever. No, and he gets the pass out there, and it's straight out there to Darren Saunders. We've got a bad injury while the game is going. There's a Footscray player being carried off the ground. We'll just try and pick it up and see who it is. Well, I'll follow the ball down here as uh, Brad Hardy picks the ball up, swings it back into play, and there'll be a throw in right under that coach's box on that outer wing. And we just go in here and see if we can pick out that player. I think it might be Baxter, number uh, 26, Peter Baxter being carried off, which is very bad luck for him because uh, he was just beginning to figure prominently in the game. Coming on to replace him, is Craig Somerville making his debut for Footscray, a young kid who's fought his way up through the under-19s into the seniors in just seven games. Well, it was good to see that. Meanwhile, the ball is carried on now down, picked up by Glenn Denning. He goes back and is looking for someone to handball it to. The kick is now taken down to the full, full forward position. Oh, almost a one-handed taken by McDonald. Segler trying hard to scoop the ball out. Oh, Kennedy, he's a tough, tenacious player. And he picks up a free kick for his trouble too. So the kick now taken by McPherson, driving down to the flank position. Oh, intercepted beautifully by Glenn Denning. How Jonas. good is this guy? Jonas. Jonas it was. Very similar haircut. Yes, so that's exactly what I was looking at. Oh, there's stacks on the mill there. I don't think that the uh, umpire's going to be able to pick any free kicks out of that. Like, yes, they do look alike. I didn't pick the number. I just looked at the haircut. Brad Hardy working very hard down there. The umpire, Howe, puts the ball down. Segler against Purser dead heat that one the umpire says there was an infringement and we'll go to Purser Purser uh, challenging Glenn Dinning as the best man on the ground at the moment the pass is out here he's going to kick it out to Peter Foster in fact he goes over Foster's head to McPherson McPherson back to Foster Foster on his left foot a beautiful long kick Ackley under it backed up well by Dwyer gets rid of the ball hand passes back to Ackley good play Ackley's kick finds our Siri. he's off like a rocket over to Phil Cracker, this is good play North Melbourne, now can we finish it off Hardy, oh, oh. the beautiful mark there by Jim Cracker, Phil to Jim, the radar works lovely now, chip in too, oh, beautiful play, this guy's having a terrific game, Jim Cracker about 40 metres out kicking into a slight breeze just having a casual look around, looking for a pass, and there it is German, hand pass to our Siri. His second goal, perhaps, or is it offline? One point only. 3-10. That really wasn't necessary. I thought they overdid it then. Perhaps they were trying to open the play up a bit on their forward line, but I didn't see the point in that. I thought that uh, no, Cracker could have gone back and had a big kick for that. There was plenty down there to take the mark. Kennedy kicks out. He kicks wide. Big flies. It's McDonald who punches it away. And that piece of play by Cracker, the way he cut in in front of... Uh, his Footscray opponent and took the mark was just sheer magic. Well, they're dangerous when they're down the forward line together, the two Cracker brothers, and uh, that's how they deserve it too. Purser again looking for the tap out. The umpire's found a free kick, and this time he's found it in... Uh, is it going to Hardy? No, it's going to be picked up here to take by Purser again. That's the second time. He's getting quite a few kicks in the, in the tap outs. It's kicked down there. Oh, Glenn Dinning again taking a lovely mark over the back. A real vice-captain's game, or acting captain today. Decides to play on, shoots the ball down to the centre half forward position. The players fly for the ball, it's over the back, and Cracker Brother again is in there. Jimmy Cracker then handballs over. Hit oh, the post, not again. Germans hit the post. German, I was having a look at that and I, I just, <laughs> I've got a post right in line here. So well, I'll just fill you in on that one because that's the second time in a matter of minutes that Jimmy Cracker's found Peter German, once with a foot pass, once with a hand pass, and German on both uh, occasions. Hasn't really finished it off all that well. The pass, here we go, North Melbourne back into attack. I can't believe that they're only leading by 19 points because they've had all the play. It's Phil Cracker looking for brother Jimmy. He'll let it hit the ground, falls over, holding the man surely. That's the way the umpire sees it. 
umpire Howe has given the free kick to Jimmy Cracker, and when these two boys work in tandem, they're very, very hard to beat indeed. Yes, and that was a fairly obvious free kick too. I mean, he had the way to... he went to the ground, knocked the ball on, and then uh, it was only a matter of time till someone grabbed him. Well, I think Jimmy should make up for this time. He's had another pass again. Has he found anybody? He has indeed. Yes, he has in Fairley. Uh, Fairley's taken the mark, but it's bringing back on a tighter angle. I would have had a shot. Fairley now, or it looks to place the kick, and who's he found now? Now this is German again. German again. So German's going to make up for his last attempt. Last two attempts, really. Well, yes. <laughs> he's, had, he's had plenty of chances. German, he's a matter of 35 metres out. Yeah, That's a better looking kick. That's straight through the middle. Goal number four. And North Melbourne moved to 4-11, 35. Footscray, 1-3-9. And a nice bit of play. And at last, North Melbourne kicking straight. Ten minutes into the second quarter. Yes, that was a rather easy sort of goal. Uh, I, St Kilda, I'm sorry, Footscray just are not applying any pressure at all down on the back line. It's also interesting to see that North Melbourne at this stage have had 15 shots for goal as uh, four shots for Footscray and uh, it to me appears to be a, a back line game for North Melbourne. Their back line is very tight and yet Footscray, I can't see them doing much, uh, much in the way of attacking. Uh, anyway, back in the centre of the ground now, the ball's up in the air and Perse has a lovely tap out, but it's, uh, it's quickly slipped up and kicked down to the centre half full position. Phil Cracker underneath it. Can he get it? No, he's outmarked. And uh, that's taken by Saunders. Saunders now goes back to take a kick, looking for Brad Hardy. He takes a solid mark on his chest. Elects to play on. Kicking it out past the centre of the ground into the diamond. Players set themselves. Oh, Perser again. How many kicks has he had today? He's been in everything. Champion player. Oh, and there's a jostle for a mark. You'd have to look to play on that. The umpire said, play on. Very unfair. Now he'll have to pull it up. I thought that was unfair. It was a man in front. He played the ball. Umpire House says, no, I'll have it. And now he takes the ball. Well, I think the only thing keeping Footscray in this game at the moment is the ruck play of Andrew Purser. And this man here, Glenn Dinning, has just uh, been the perfect general across the half-back line. Their half-back line's been virtually impenetrable. And uh, that's a very, very silly handball. Almost a hospital one, that one. And Atkins comes out with a free kick. Very fortunate to get out of that mess. Atkins. Nice looking drop punt. Two North Melbourne, three North Melbourne players fighting each other for the ball. Fairly taps the ball up in the air. It'll be a free kick and it will go Footscray's way to be taken that time by Darren Saunders, I think. Yeah, Saunders. Punch down by McDonald. That half back line, very hard to get past today. And this man's playing a great game, Ackley. Gets the ball out. He's ridden to the ground. Play on, says the umpire. The advantage rule coming in. Hardy's got the ball out there for McGuinness. McGuinness gets rid of it backwards over to Royal. Doesn't know what to do. Screws it around. Looks for Beasley. Over the top through for a behind. Well, it's easy to say that Beasley's been out of the game today because the ball hasn't been down on their forward line much today. And I noticed they've got McCann is playing a very tight game trying to pull him up. Uh, McCann... Uh, very reliable, as Steve was saying before. He's played many uh, premiership games. He knows what it's all about. And he's had a little short pass to McDonald. He's been brought down from the forward line. Donald elects to play on. A big kick over to the centre wing position. The Cracker Brothers underneath. But Dwyer takes a lovely mark. And back to take his kick. Decides to play on. He's looking for anyone down there. Who's he got down here? Is Ross Glenn Dinning? No, but it's over the line. And touched. So it'll be in for a throw in. On the centre wing position in front of the grandstand here at the Western Oval. This game is being brought to you by Pro Football. Don't forget, if ever you want to support your club, you can get your tapes after the game or next week's game. You can order them. Just see your local hotel or local club and uh, they can organise it for you. OK, this uh, free kick is going to Dougie Hawkins. Hawkins, one of the skilled players in the Footscray side. He's up there looking for Bamblet. Uh, north away again. Bad hand pass. Royal comes around on his left foot. Looks for the pass. Not a particularly good one. Ridden to the ground, then is Rance, having his work cut out against Glenn Dinning now. It's McGuinness, the South Australian McGarry medalist. He's caught, finally gets his boot to the ball. And Steve McPherson, McPherson too far out to score, one, imagine, one would imagine. He's gone for the kick. It's fading just offline, through for a behind. 1-2 to McPherson of Footscray's 1-5. They trail by 24 points. North Melbourne should be eight goals ahead, I should think, instead of uh, instead of the merest of four. Yes, absolutely. We're uh, we're just coming up to the 14-minute mark. It's not what you call a high-scoring game today, considering the condition of the ground, and it's not windy, and the wind's going straight up the middle of the ground, if anything. Mm. So yeah, well, we've got a mark here, which has been taken by Donald McDonald, who's uh, playing a backman's game. He started off on the forward line, the full forward position, the centre forward position. Anyway, there's a strong mark being taken. 
there. Yeah, I'm going to pick that up. Uh, not too sure whether that was uh, Baxter. That's Spargo. Oh, now Spargo now has got the ball, so we can get on with this. And uh, North Melbourne are pretty happy to sort of see. Oh, there's a, there's a chip pass all on his own, unattended. How often have we seen this happen today? He picks up the ball now and driving it down to the centre half forward position. The ball is in the air. The players set themselves. Yes, oh, there was an infringement there before. Yes, the man in front had to be paid too. He's a little bit of a push in the back. The legs to play on. Dwyer trying hard on his own. Got a chance to pick it up. Has to dodge around. Can't quite do it. Footscray really tackling hard now. That's good play there by yes. Hawkins. Gets it across to Wallace. Wallace on his wrong foot. Swings it in towards the centre of the ground. Poor play then, but finally it's Royal with the ball. He's ridden to the ground. The umpire says play on. It's Jonas back towards the centre of the ground. Back to Norman. Kicks it out wide looking for Atkins, who's nice and quick when he wants to be. And pretty slippery. Atkins runs around his opponent. Good play. Lines up. Looking for Segler. Behind. Jimmy Cracker fires at goal right across the front. And the ball bounces just inside. And there'll be a throw in about a metre and a half, two metres around from the North Melbourne behind post. We've been playing 15 minutes in this second quarter in Pro Football's match of the day at the Western Oval. It's Segler who takes the ball out of the air. The umpire says he's dropped it. And as you can see, he never even had hold of the ball. He was pulled down to the ground. And the umpires decided that Kennedy had applied enough pressure for him. Oh, that's woeful play, And passed over to Hardy. Hardy now getting that ball. Oh, that's a shocking game. What's happened to the kicking today? I well, really have think, never seen it so bad. You would think that Kennedy with the aid of the breeze would boot the ball right down the centre instead of that little hand pass over to Brad Hardy and the long way home because it's the biggest ground in league football. And as you can see it served no purpose but Purser probably their best player for Footscray today is uh, trying his hardest to get the ball but there you are we're going to be a free kick we'll be going to Saunders we'll go back and take his kick for being held when not in possession. Saunders now umpire bringing back 15 metres for interference and wasting time. Dropping the ball down into the forward flank position. The players set themselves. This picked up by Bamblett off the pack. Kicked over to the top. Players running through. Can't get their hands to it. North Melbourne player there. Has to be in the back. Yes, I would have thought so. Ackley He's, uh, to take the yes, free kick. Ackley, uh, very similar looking guy to Ramsey too. Dwyer now takes the ball from the hand pass. Left foot kick. Can't quite pick it up. Malin trying his hardest there to do something with it. But the umpire says, no, look, I'll have it. So we're currently now sitting at the uh, 16 and a half minute mark of the second quarter. Very low scoring game and uh, I don't think I'll be speaking out of turn if I said the standard football hasn't been that high at all, Steve. Well, for a team that finished third last year, Footscray is showing none of that class. And uh, North Melbourne, a finalist. This could have been the match of the day last year. And uh, really, Footscray have been abysmal today. They've kicked a one goal, five in a quarter and a half. It's Brad Hardy, one of the few good performers who taps the ball forward. Yes, there's only four or five consistent in. players today playing for Footscray. Found state. a free kick too. And the umpire says play on. Advantage rule straight into effect. The umpire, however, will pull it back. He said there's been an incident back down the field. Flattened uh, is one of the Footscray players. And who will come out with the free kick? He's pulling the ball back, umpire Rich, right there on the uh, left-hand side of your picture. Getting the tap from the trainer was Matthew Hanabry. The ball right back there on that out of outer wing, and that's Phil Malin, the former Carlton Premiership player. Malin from South Australia originally drives the ball in looking for Beasley, who's hardly had a sniff. Dropping the ball. The umpire lets play go on. And will bounce centre half forward. Very interesting call that. Uh, I don't think Spargo could have gotten rid of the ball at all. He'd been caught cold. It did appear that way, but there's no way no one had a chance to get rid of it. I this, correct me if I'm wrong, but has last year's Norm Smith medalist Simon Beasley had one kick yet? I, I don't think I have seen it, no. And in fact, it's not even looking like getting one. The ball has... Uh, anyway, well, we'll get back to that in a second. You've got McCann again doing his best to drive the ball out there through Arkiri or Arsiri. Arsiri now driving it down to the wing position. It's been tapped on. Players left, right and centre here trying to get hold of the ball. Very scrambly play. Purser again, as usual, handballs out of trouble. Oh, a head-on match there. And a mark and a safe mark taken by Royal. Hopefully he can find someone to kick it to. Yes, he's looking at Brad Hardy, uncontested. And that was very unnecessary, Glendinning, although I think it's a bit of an Academy Award there, Steve. Yeah, I think there was a bit more, I think there was a bit more Gregory Peck than uh, yes. Johnny Famishon in that one. Ah, well, that's what and, you uh, get, you see, for being a Brownlow medalist. An unusual little uh, piece of footy trivia there. 
with the two West Australian Brownlow medalists, both wearing number four. That is good trivia. Brad Hardy and Ross Glenn Dinning. A couple of champion players. I think uh, any Western Australian would be very proud to know that they're from there. Well, let's have a look at Brad Hardy. He's played a pretty reasonable game today with another West Australian, Andrew Purser. The reigning Brownlow medalist, Brad Hardy, comes in. He's kicked straight through the middle. And that cuts the gap just that little bit more. 18 points the margin now as Footscray moved to two goals, five, 17 behinds, trailing North Melbourne, 4-11, 35 on the pro football scoreboard. Yes, well, that was quite interesting. Brad Hardy was left uncontested then as he took a fairly easy mark. It remains to be seen now exactly what's going to happen. You've got uh, North Melbourne really having most of the play today, and yet, as you can see, there's really only two, two or three goals the difference, 18 points the difference. You wouldn't have thought so. Straight kicking. Hello, there's a free kick there has been found, and Segler is to take the kick from the centre bounce. Segler now driving the ball down is an awkward kicking position. Jonas. Another strong mark taken by Jonas. Jonas uh, being jostled, but the umpire says no, no 15 metre penalty. Looks for a pass and he finds Jimmy Cracker. No, that's, that's Phil. Phil. Beg your pardon, Phil. <laughs> Sorry, Phil. Well, Phil, right. Phil won't make the distance there, one wouldn't imagine. He's looking everywhere for a pass. He's looking for Jimmy. That's a big, high torpedo. And it didn't make the distance, but there's a mark down there in the square. The umpire, however, says no. Well, I thought the McDonald looked like he might have got his hands to that, but... Uh... Now, this would be a good piece of... Uh, a good piece of defensive ruck play here, I would think, by Purser, who will belt it straight through the middle. McDonald picks it up. Off the side, one behind. 4-12, 36. The score, McDonald has kicked three behinds. And that margin is now 19 points. We're at the 22-minute mark of the second quarter. And the Footscray captain, Rick Kennedy, in it, is in a bit of a quandary. He's persevering with the short pass and uh, paying the penalty. The umpire, well, however, says there will be a free kick. He had to look for Purser. There wasn't too many other players there. The look settled to be able to take a strong mark, and they've got to get that ball down to their goal to goal line. Royal well, trying very difficult to do. Schoolboy stuff, that. Yeah, we've got, very uh, nice. We've got the North Melbourne coach, John Kennedy, in the box right alongside us, and uh, he was furious. He's been uh, not a very happy man so far in this match. John Law underneath that tries for the one hander. A hand pass across from Spargo. Roscoe Glendinning, ever so easy. Decides on the bounce. He'll get good support from Steele. Goes wide. He's looking for the one of the cracker boys. It's Jimmy. Donald McDonald there. The hand pass out. This time to Norman, who's a talented player, the former Queenslander. Swings it around on his right boot. Over the top. Not a particularly good pass. An air kick. Had one of those last week at Kingston Heath. The ball on the ground. The umpire coming in and will bounce. Yeah, well, that, that interesting bit of football here. I, I find it amazing. The standard today is uh, not what you'd expect from two clubs such as this. And it was also the other point you made about Kennedy. I'm just listening to him now bellowing away. He's not happy with the way North Melbourne are playing at all. Oh, especially that with yes. Andrew Purser going up uncontested. Yes. Malin just lets go of the ball. It rolls over the boundary line. There's Phil Malin on the ground. It'll be interesting to see what they do to contest uh, Purser. They're going to have to stop him. I mean, although Footscray are not getting any connection with the ball, they certainly are getting first touch of it. And... Uh, well, That's fairly now we'll watch the ball go out. But you watch this next ruck duel. We'll watch Andrew Purser go up. He'll probably uh, contest against Peter Jonas, who's giving away about three or four inches, and Jonas has also given away three or four free kicks. Tim Jepp cutting uh, Jonas out, and that could almost have been a shepherd. But uh, he's far too talented. It's Royal who gets the hand pass out to Malin. Malin's fairly well protected. Then as he swings it around on his left foot, Segler down there, he can't do anything. Bamble Lell swings it back, looking for McGuinness. McGuinness underneath it, takes the great mark. The hand pass over to Simon Beasley. Beasley runs into an open goal, first kick, first goal. And Footscray moved to 3-5, 23. They trail North Melbourne, 4-12, 36. Well, there you have it. There's Simon Beasley's first uh, kick, although I wouldn't say that that was Simon Beasley's goal in the true sense. That was started from Bamblett, snapping it off the pack here from a mark that was set up. Oh, and a beautiful uh, mark down there. When we look at McGuinness take that mark again, the way he used his body, got underneath the ball and then swung the hand pass over to Beasley and Beasley just added the cream to the cake. McCann was committed to come down the ground leaving Beasley on his own but there you have it, there's a first kick for Simon Beasley for the day and uh, there's uh, the first kick he's had as a goal. That's the job of full forwards in uh, one out of one so far. Nothing in this game, 13 points the difference. North Melbourne should have had it sewn up 10 minutes ago. They're 4-12 on the pro football scoreboard. Footscray 3-5. The ball back down again, Wallace going through, can't quite get to it. 
the umpire will come in and bounce again. A bit gluey in the middle there in the uh, central pitch area. Umpire Howe waiting until uh, the players sort themselves out. Trying to spread things out a little. Having a chat to a couple of the players. Donald McDonald going in purse. A beautiful tap over the back to Hawkins. Swings it round on his left foot. He's a beautiful player, Dougie Hawkins, when he gets going. McGuinness again. Magic play from the McGarry medalist. Goes wide, looking for Beasley. Beasley in the front position. Oh, good play then by McCann. Over the top. A punch away. Atkins comes through. Goes wide, out towards the wing position. Jonas bustled out of the way. He'll recover well. Jep looked as though he had hold of him by the foot. Recovers well. Gets the kick around. Not a good kick. Hand pass then by Stephen Hickey. Atkins coming right into the game in this quarter. Purser, one of the best on the ground. Unloaded then by Jonas. Could have been a push in the back, holding the man decision, and that's the way it'll be. Dougie Hawkins, back towards the centre of the ground. Not a good kick, Doug. Not the sort of thing we'd expect from a state wingman. Push in the back, free kick, go north Melbourne's way. Looks like Norman. McPherson put under a lot of pressure then, and he couldn't get rid of the ball. The ball now played on down to the centre position there. And uh, a safe mark there taken. Handball played on. Picked up. Left foot kick. No one out there. It's a panic. We've got anybody's chance here to get to the ball. They're all rushing to it. McCann is coming out to tackle. Oh, McCann playing a very solid backman's game. Unsettled them nicely then. And ball will go over the line and out of bounds. That uh, interception then against um, Ackley's yeah. hand pass is one of the rare times you see Ackley um, just fade under pressure. But uh, usually he's hand passing in the back line. All spot credit on. due to McCann coming down from the back line then to break that up. There's Royal having a shot. For, oh, look at that. He's having a shot down to the centre half forward position. He's out of line, over the line, and out of bounds on the full. Very rare that you see this. That's the third time that I've seen Royal kick out of bounds on the full today, which is rather unusual for Rover. There are some of the people. They could be from Border Town there in the front row. So if you're watching the game, there's a bit of a fight on behind, uh, behind play. Jimmy Cracker shaping up. And uh, he's got a little bit of fire in him, Jimmy. And. Uh, He's just having a word or two to Darren Baxter. And the umpire coming in to sort things out. North Melbourne runner going in. I think North Melbourne are only too aware of the fact that this man, Jimmy Cracker, is the ticket, their passport, maybe to a finals berth. John Law and McPherson. The umpire coming in again. That's umpire Howe. Try to cool down some hot heads. I don't think there was any in, anything in either of those incidents. Just a bit of boys will be boys. Down again. I don't, know, I don't think that North Melbourne are being rattled as Malin swings the ball forward. Bamblett has the ball off. It's Ackley. Punches towards the boundary line. Could well have been yes. intentional, but too far away. And the umpire says, no, we'll throw it in. I think, I think if he had been five yards closer, it might have been a yes, free Yes, so he mightn't have got away with it had it been closer to the goal line. But nonetheless, the umpire now throws the ball in. Up in the ruck, the ball is punched down. We'll go over the line and out of bounds again. Well, we're running into the 27-minute uh, mark of the second quarter with the scores, uh, Footscray 23 points, uh, trailing North Melbourne 36. As they go up in the ruck again, it goes over the line again. This is hardly what you call an exciting piece of football right now, Steve, isn't it? Yeah, a bit of defensive play there by the, um, by the North Melbourne side because uh, they realise there's only a minute or so to go in this quarter. So the ball oh, being attacked now, players everywhere, that's picked up. And played down the line by Wallace. Wallace driving the kick down to the centre there. Hickey. Couldn't quite take the mark. It was Hickey, was it? That's Wallace going in there now. Other yes. side. He gets a hand pass out to Hawkins. Hawkins back to McPherson. McPherson, McPherson under, under plenty pressure. of pressure. Awful football. Footscray back into attack. And it's Wallace again. The hand pass out here. And this is the chance now for Footscray to go right into attack. Royal. I don't know if that was Royal out there. I think that might have been... Um, Darren Saunders running back and there's a bit of a dust on back there on the wing position Phil and Jimmy Cracker the umpire's book has come out there has been a player reported I would gather from uh, the situation that it may well be Phil Cracker and Jimmy Cracker's in there being uh, placated by Jonas well, Doug Hawkins uh, is Doug also Hawkins being, uh, been taken. being informed that a report has been made it's interesting that he took uh, Phil Cracker's number when Jimmy was the one originally involved in an incident just uh, five minutes earlier. Could be a bit of brotherly love there. Mm. But, oh, well. uh, the book's going back in. Certainly warming up here a little. 
12 points of difference. Footscray coming back into the game in this quarter. And they look down and out. The ball with Ackley at full back. Purser underneath it. Just a little too far underneath it. It's Royal that time. A hand pass out. Hawkins handball intercepted then. Jimmy Cracker with the ball. The umpire will come in and put the ball down for a bounce. 29 minutes gone in the second quarter. Pro football's match of the day out here at the Western Oval between Footscray and North. And the way things are looking, it could be a thrilling second half. No attempt to get rid of it. In my, uh, my humble mm. opinion, that could well have gone against the I Victorian so. and Doug Hawkins. Yes, Dwyer was certainly placing the pressure. And then as the umpire throws the ball up in the air, Purser once again gets the tap out. Uh, that's uh, the ball. A bit scrambling has been... Uh, no, the umpire's found a free kick. Hawkins again will take yes, the ball. Yes, and uh, he's going to go back now. What's he going to do with it? There's nobody to kick it to. He's looking for someone. He's taken a big kick over to the centre-half forward position. Hardy underneath. Beasley pushed in the back as the siren goes for the end of the second quarter here at halftime at the Western Oval. Pro football game today between Footscray and North Melbourne. Footscray, three goals, 6.24 points. Trailing North Melbourne, four goals, 12.36. <laughs> a real footballer. You've got to go for the mark. The VFL mark. Go for the mark. Go, go for the, the mark. mark. Go for the VFL mark at leading stores. Real footy gear, real footy accessories, real footy supporters gear too in all club colours and badges. Go for the mark. Go for the mark. Go for the mark. Go for the, mark. Go for the VFL mark at leading stores. All right, uh, here we are with the uh, the beginning of the third quarter here from the pro football game out at the Western Oval and it's a bit of interesting information you found out before we start this quarter Steve. Well Keith Craig just came in uh, one of the North Melbourne coaching panel to tell us that Jimmy Cracker had his number taken in that dust up late in the second quarter for eye gouging. Doug Hawkins evidently the recipient and there's been real, a real crackdown amongst the umpires over eye gouging as his third quarter in pro football's match of the day at the Western Oval gets underway and the man in question Jimmy Cracker gets the ball straight onto his boot North Melbourne or an attempt there by Dwyer running past couldn't quite grab the ball Glenn Dinning with a big punch away he's had five marks Jimmy over to Phil over to Norman good play North Melbourne Norman off the side of his boot not finishing it off well and uh, a very disappointing disappointing and dismal kick and it's marked by Matthew Hanabry Hanabry's kick oh. I won't even make one comment about that as it goes towards the boundary line. Scooped up by Darren Saunders and there'll be a throw in. And that scoreboard, the pro football scoreboard here. Footscray on the way back there. 3 6 24, North Melbourne 4 12 a 36. As we take the tap out now and uh, we see the ball not picked up by anybody. Malin trying his hardest to get a, to, the handball out. Is now picked up. There's a shot for goal coming through. How does it look? No, Atkins it was. And Atkins uh, put a point through on the score now. So we're taking it now to the uh, not even quite the one minute mark of the third quarter. Footscray 3 6 24, trailing North Melbourne 4 goals 13 37. The key, to, the key to this game has been the, the defence of North Melbourne. Uh, Ross Glendinning and David Ackley across the half-back line. A one-hander almost pulled in by Hawkins. Hawkins. And now for Footscray to stay in this game, they must try and hold North Melbourne out as they have the wind, which has picked up quite considerably. And uh, they have the wind for this last time. Looks like McPherson kicking the ball high towards the wing. Punched back by brother Steve. That's Brian Royal, former State Rover. On the left foot. Drives it down looking for Bamblett. Bamblett too slow. In front is Ross Glendinning taking his sixth mark for the match. Kick number seven to Glendinning doing a good job on Rance at centre half. Back former Brownlow medalist back in the North Melbourne side after quite uh, annoying injuries kept him sidelined earlier in the year. And he's a type of class player. And there are a number of class players they have out. Schimmelbush, Larkin, Holt just to name a couple oh, and they're missing them badly it's Jep coming out of the pack the former Richmond defender and Donald McDonald takes the mark well Donald McDonald it's hard to see him picking him up there he started off in the forward line in the back line now he seems to be sitting around the centre somewhere a big driving kick now down to the uh, centre half forward position there's a, a lovely strong mark there and that's uh, been taken by Fairley Fairley going back now big kick has he got anyone down there? There's a bit of jostling going on nobody able to take the ball oh uh, Kerry has he been able to grab this one off the pack? No worries about that. It's a lovely goal there to North Melbourne and Arkiri's second goal for the day. Taking North Melbourne now five goals, 13, in ahead of uh, Footscray, three goals, 6, 24. 
That's a lead of 19 points at North Melbourne. Now got a handy lead too. Uh, Footscray really are going to try hard to open up the attack in this quarter. They need to do something. Generally speaking, the first half of the game, the standard of football has been a bit scrappy. Lots of kicks out of bounds on the full. But there was a, a, a good shot for goal, a lovely pick up by Akiri off the pack. Uh, quickly snapped onto the right boot and through she went. Umpire Howe about to put the ball down in the middle. About three minutes gone in this third quarter here at the Western Oval. It's Purser again, dominated every knockout. Jimmy Cracker over to brother Phil. They don't waste any time. Phil puts the ball onto the ground, onto his left foot, kicks it out wide. Not a particularly good kick from such a skillful ball user. And John Law is judged to have dropped the ball. Play on straight away, Peter Foster. Foster. His kick and the mark taken by Rance. Been an interesting duel down there with Rance and Glendinning. Rance's kick intercepted by his opponent, Glendinning. Can't quite grab the ball. That should be in the back or on the back of the neck. That's the way it is. Hand pass out there by Hanabry. Footscray into attack, looking for McPherson and finding him. Talented player, McPherson. He's looking for Beasley. Beasley in the back position. McCann, tall, experienced, and uh, silly play, Simon. There he is. But Stephen McCann, cool, very cool player at the best of times. Plays on. Donald McDonald is the target. McDonald slowing things down, and Beasley. Just getting a little hot under the collar, old Boozer. And that's Wallace pushed in the back. The umpire says play on. Hardy unloaded. Yeah, free kick. And the free kick is going to go to Brad Hardy. He did extremely well to recover from that, didn't he? He had been, uh, been squeezed out by two players, but managed to quickly recover then uh, to tackle. Takes his kick now down the centre forward. Uh, Beasley flying for a mark, but he's got two North Melbourne players in front of him trying to pull him up. And then we see Baxter trying to get hold of the ball. He's lying all over the ground. Spargo walks away, but the umpire said, I'll have it. So here we are. We've got um, umpire Rich throwing the ball up in the air. Oh, Cracker there. Uh, Phil Cracker, Jimmy Cracker, I should say, is trying to get hold of the ball. McPherson has a shot for goal. It's offline. And oh, and again, in defence, solid in defence all day. McCann, he stopped Beasley. Uh, Fight on in the back of the forward pocket. I'll keep an eye on the fight. You keep an eye on the football. OK, North Melbourne now kicking the ball down to the centre wing position almost. And there's a lovely mark taken in front by Hawkins. He's really lifted his game since that little incident with the umpire. Royal picking up the mark now. Set his down. Hoping to see if he can clear things. He was looking for Beasley then, who really just doesn't look very confident today at all. OK, well, Royal's too far out to score. He'll be looking for a lead. I think McCann's played him superbly. He's calling for the lead. He's going to run around the man on his mark. He needs plenty of pace. He's run 35 yards, lined them up. Royal hits the post. How much luck do you need there, Steve? I mean, there you go. There's a beautiful piece of play, as Steve was calling that, then, and it hit the post. Yes, behind the play before, we saw uh, Stephen Hickey and uh, Steve McPherson uh, just having a bit of a shoving match. The boundary umpire right on the scene. Glenn Dinning, kick number eight, goes wide. He's looking for and finds Peter Jonas. Jonas is uh, just checking his size, a bit. I think, Steve. Yeah. Well, Jep's been given the job of tagging Jonas all day. Hasn't done a bad job, but uh, well, Jonas hasn't kicked a bag of goals. In fact, he's kicked one behind. Punch down. Wallace taps it down to Rod McPherson. McPherson looking for the way out of that little web. It's Malin. Bad hand pass. All the pressure in the world. Rod McPherson got some time there. Where's the talk? He's flattened after he gets rid of the ball. The umpire keeps an eye on things. Oh, and down we go, McPherson. Tapped towards the boundary line by Lell. And it'll be a throw-in. Little Lally Bamblet. The throw-in, half-forward flank. Geelong Road, end of the ground. Footscray kicking into a slight breeze. Donald McDonald gets one of the few knockouts for the day as German has kicked number 14 straight up in the air. Brad Hardy showing all the cool and poise sits there and takes the mark. He's been fairly consistent today, Brad. Been a very, very good player. Second best, I think, to Purser. His kick up towards centre half forward. Bamblett goes up 15 minutes early. High kick. Underneath it is fairly. He calls for it. Jonas tries to trap the ball. Finally comes out. And the umpire will come in and say, let's bounce. Umpire Dennis Rich, wing position, member's side of the ground. We've been playing 10 minutes into this third quarter of Pro Football's match of the day at the Western Oval between Footscray, who are 3-7-25, North Melbourne 5-13, poor kicking, 43, and North looking for a place in the five. Jeff hands the ball to the umpire. 
will have a throw in. Another good opportunity to have a look at Donald McDonald and Andrew Purser in action. Nice tap there by Purser, intercepted by North Melbourne. Ball towards the boundary line. Atkins will be over the line first and will have a throw in as the ball goes into North's attacking zone. I don't think that Purser is really they're bothering to try and tackle Purser. I think they're trying to play to his ruck play. It's pretty hard to see anyone beating him today. As we can see from this throw, more than likely he'll probably get this one as well. No, actually it's proved me wrong. But nonetheless, it wasn't an effective tap at the ball's kicked high in the air, fairly trying to get hold of that underneath the ball. Players on the ground everywhere, Footscray fellas, really getting desperate now and trying very hard to lift their game to bring it up to North Belt in this quarter. Umpire elects to throw the ball up in the air, showing the indicating how, how greasy the ground is at the moment. Purser again, uncontested, scooped up in the air and kicked down on the ground by Hannabury. Sorry, I didn't say, I said Hannabury, it uh, should have been uh, Atkins. But it uh, went over the line and out of bounds. Now, we'll have a look this time at Segler. There's Segler pointing there. Uh, sorry, Segler going up there. Front position. It's Purser who pushes it down. Atkins bustled towards the boundary line. Hardy, can't fool him all the time, can you, Brad? <laughs> As watching Segler, I think Segler would be the only man that they can probably have to compete with uh, Purser, but by the same token, they really are leaving him down on the forward line to try to get some sort of drive. He's, um, he's a big lad, Segler, as you can see there. He probably match Purser for height. He certainly looks heavier. But the ability, of course, is the uh, overriding factor. The umpire says that Purser has put his hand over Segler's shoulder. And uh, young Segler, David Segler, has had two set shots at goal. He's kicked two behinds. His pants are a bit tight. He gives himself a bit of an adjust. <laughs> and he lines up from 25 metres out, a third adjust. They are a tight pair of shorts, David. We'll have to do something about that. This guy's those. got more moves than Salmon when he's going for a kick. Here he comes, David Segler. Oh, the umpire, 15 metre penalty. And, uh, Two men on the mark, I think. And uh, also Brian Royal a bit close. Now, David Segler should not miss this. They're pointing to Brian Royal, who is over on the boundary line. Not quite sure what the reason was for that one, but Segler has been uh, moved to within a yard and a half. He's on a 45-degree angle. Chance for North's sixth goal. Slides it through. Well done, David Segler. His first goal. North Melbourne moved to 6-13-49. They're 24 points ahead of Footscray, the same margin as they led in the second quarter. Footscray 3-7-25, and that's on the Pro Football Scoreboard here in the match of the day at the Western Oval. Yes, uh, that was an interesting goal, that one. Um, they, Footscray could ill afford to have that, uh, that kick taken on the forward line there. And, and uh, that free kick, I thought it was a bit techo. I thought Purser really wasn't that hard on his shoulder, but the umpire saw it differently. But there you have it, uh, there's another score on the board. It's only been six goals and we're into the uh, 10 minute mark of the third quarter. Not a high scoring game. No, pretty, and a fairly ordinary standard game at the moment. But mm. Footscray uh, got back to within two goals. They couldn't go on with it. North Melbourne with the aid of this breeze, which has dropped just, it's been on and off all day, the breeze. And uh, Purse had dominated in the ruck, giving away that free kick, which resulted in the goal to Segler just a moment ago. The umpire, umpire, how will bounce again. Fairly sticky, fairly holding piece of ground in the middle. And lovely tap over the back. The umpire has found a free kick this time. The ruck infringement will go to Purser, who uh, in my mind is miles and away the best player on the ground at this stage. His handball over to Royal, uh, Royal. Royal on the right foot. Woeful kick straight up in the air. Punch down. McGuinness balks. Re uh, that's Jep. Handball over the back. Here comes Atkins. Atkins the speed set, just shows how slippery the ground is. Goes wide, he's looking for Segler. Segler in the front position, takes down the mark. Play on, says the umpire. Not a great decision. It's Kennedy who goes wide, looking for and finding Hawkins. Hawkins is off. The interstate wingman, he's a dasher. And one of the best handballers in league football. Decides on the left foot pass. He's looking for Bamlett. Bamlett in the front position, taps on. Law in front. Law, clever play, John Law. Steadying play on the half-back flank formed an impenetrable barrier down there today and the mark is taken by Matthew Hanabry. Hanabry plays on straight away. Here's the chance again for Footscray. Two of them. Baxter. His kick. It's a beauty. It's a goal. Footscray 4-7-31. North Melbourne 6-13-49. Well earned kick that one Steve too. Uh, they really struggled hard to get down there. The North Melbourne back line tightened up. They had one bite at the cherry, stopped by Law, and then a second time, and away they went. And they got that one through nice. It was a lovely shot by Baxter, and uh, that makes Woodscray. It makes it a little bit more respectable now. A 18-point, uh, uh, only trying three goals. With a low-scoring game, that still is a large margin to pick up. Well, I tipped Woodscray today, and I thought they were a better side than their results in recent weeks. 
And uh, I think they're right in this game. If they can put another one on the board, two quick goals makes all the difference. Purser, he's in there again, gets it out to Malin. Clever play. Front position, good, oh, good attempt then by Ackley. Coming through Glenn Denning, classic footballer. Aims to the boundary line. Two players in the race. It's Norman and Wallace. Fairly in front, tapped down cleverly. Jimmy Cracker going through, he'll pick it up, no worries about that. Hand pass across to Atkins, play on, advantage rule. German in the centre, steadies. Oh, goes out wide to our Siri. Kicked a couple of goals already. He's out there on Doug Hawkins, he'll steady. McDonald calling for the ball at centre half forward. He's covered by Hardy. Our Siri won't make the distance. Right up in the square, Segler's there, tapped over the back. I think I would have looked for McDonald on that occasion. Yes, Ball when the chips are down, and certainly McDonald can get up there and take a good mark. Segler, though, I thought he was unlucky not to have been paid a mark earlier in front there. Nonetheless, it's three for a point, and now we see the kick out being taken by Kennedy again. That's picked up and then kicked down the ground and across to the forward flank, almost a win. Oh, nice little one-hander there, picked up, scooped up and kicked through to Hanbury. Hanbury now decides to play on, and he's looking for... Uh, Rance and Rance now is just taking the ball. Left foot kick. Beasley, oh, a little bit of a trip up there, but uh, nonetheless, it doesn't really matter because Ackley has chipped in there to take a nice safe mark in defence. He elects to play on now, and he's picking up the picking up the player in, in uh, steel. Steel now driving forward down to Purser over the back. Can he get the mark? No, he can't. The ball's on the ground. The umpire blows his whistle. Umpire Rich has decided it's about time he had a touch of the ball. Bit rough, I thought, that decision. In fact, Kennedy next door seems to be thinking the same thing. Ross Glendinning coming off the ground to uh, see the doctor, I would think. And uh, he's back on again, North Melbourne. Dangerous piece of play. They're sending him down to the forward line. Norman in the front position here. Now, Glendinning's all by himself if they can get the ball to him. Play on in the centre of the ground. The umpire's found a free kick. Going to Footscray. Footscray are away. Jeff with a long hand pass. Over to Wallace. Wallace's kick, he's flattened after he gets rid of the ball, Lully Bamblett's there, Bamblett on the half forward flank, they've missed his bite the first six games of the season, he's going to go for goal, he's pointed at the big sticks, he's lining up from 45 to 50 metres out, if he gets onto it, slight wind in his face, leaves Bamblett comes in, no he's offline, down there, the go, the kick for goal, he's put it through, McGuinness, Footscray, 5-7, 37, only 13 points down. And that was the second goal they needed. Very important goal too. That uh, goal snapped off the pack again, as you can see it on the replay now. Um, very hard, very well needed goal that one. Uh, Footscray to stay in this game had to get two quick goals, and they've done just that in the last couple of minutes. And at the 15 and a half minute mark of this third quarter, Footscray are looking in with a chance now with only 13 points of difference. As Tony. we see the ball come back in. Oh, there's been another free kick this time. How many times? That's the third time today. Well, I think, I think now as McPherson takes the ball at centre-half forward, the move of Glenn Dinning down to centre-half forward to give them a bit more bite up forward. They're robbing Peter to pay Paul. And uh, it's McPherson, his kick up there looking for Beasley. Beasley tried to jostle his opponent. McCann's played him beautifully today. He's conceded only one kick. It was one goal and it was a hand pass over the top. But uh, only a goal, two goals the difference. Footscray with their tails up a bit now. Oh, I've, I've got every feeling that uh, Footscray might just snatch this game. German, oh, German flies high over the top. Push in the back. No, says the umpire. North Melbourne players spoiling each other down there. The umpire comes in, bounces at centre-half forward. And we've been playing 18, 17, 18 minutes. Third quarter, pro football's match of the day. And what a game it's turning into. Purser taps it out wide. Arsiri overruns the ball, picks it up. He's got Jeff to contend with. Hand passes over the front. Jonas caught with the ball. Norman taps it between his legs. It's Arsiri again. Push the ball. He's held when he's not in possession of the ball. It'll be a free kick. Play on, says the umpire. Holding the man. No, it's Foster up high. Here's a chance for Jeff. Ball bounces awkwardly for him. And the umpire will come in and bounce. Centre wing position. Well, that's an incredible piece of football. Then I saw the umpire let three things go, perhaps so to balance the game up, who knows. But he's decided to ball, ball it up now, or is he going to throw it up? He's going to ball it up there. Up in the ruck they go. The tap down, no one can get hold of it. The player's everywhere. Wallace is trying his hardest to get hold of it. Law. Scraps on the mill. No, Malin, too late. Oh, I'm not happy with that at all. There's not a big crowd here at 
good score. Oh, they're voting for 16,000, but they've come to life with a vengeance. McDonald out to minutes. attack Purser in the ruck up then. McDonald, a lot of heart, the only man who can probably give Purser a run for his money. And a couple of changes made by Kennedy, but he's pissed off. Ball down. McDonald, Purser comes out with a hand pass to Jeff. No, dummy. Baxter. Here's the chance now for Malin. Malin over to Royal. Royal looks for the pass over to Beasley. Beasley in position this time. He's pushed over. He can't hold the mark. McCann. And good play then. Cool play by Stephen McCann in the crisis because Royal was burning downfield and McCann has played a terrific game today on uh, last year's VFL top goal kicker. It's McGuinness. McCann coming through again. Tackled vigorously by Bamlett. Hardy. Hardy lines up, the kick offline, one point the result. Oh, how much luck do you need? They've had a, a lot of sitters today, and Hardy there, he had it set, not a man that would normally miss a go kick like that as a setup. Uh, Footscray have really lifted their tails, they're right back into this game now, they want to give North Melbourne a real run for their money. The umpire, of course, has been uh, uh, doing his best because the game has been a bit scrambly the last 10 minutes, a lot of pressure. Kick out by McCann out of the centre wing position. Oh, nobody could take the mark. Tapped over the back by Percy McDonald trying his hardest. Malin scoops up the ball. Handballs. Oh, under pressure. Again, Percy picks up. Breaks out of the pack. Gets the ball to boot. No one can take the mark. There's a mark under... Handballed under pressure. The chase is on now to see who can get hold of it. McGuinness trying his hardest there. I've heard, oh, big, yeah. raps, I've heard big raps on McGuinness, the McGarry medalist from South Australia. He's shown in glimpses that he is a good little player. Now's the perfect opportunity for him to uh, come good with one of those big game performances. The oh. tap down over to Malin. Here's the chance now. Over to Hardy again. The pass is on. He lines up. Oh, touched on the line by McCann. And what a game Stephen McCann's playing in defence. It was a beautiful save. It was a diving soccer. FA Cup one. final night tonight, and we're seeing the best of it here at the Western Oval. Well, there's certainly Fusco really getting back into this game now, and uh, McCann's got his hands full. Beasley's even getting his tail up. But I noticed the crowd's becoming very vocal too, Steve. Here the they ball go. Down. Here's the chance again. The hand pass out to Malin, who's become the prime mover in this quarter. Over to Brian Royal, lines up. His kick looks good. They trail North Melbourne by four points and North Melbourne's bad kicking in the first quarter and a half is beginning to tell. They've got Glenn Dinning down in defence and uh, they are beginning to be in something of a problem. In fact, I think Ross Glenn Dinning might have even come off the ground. He was limping earlier. They did put him down to the full-back position, but I don't think that was really where he should have been. In fact, the moment that they moved him out of the centre-half forward uh, position, uh, things started to come unstuck. Centre-half back. Centre-half back. Um, it's Malin again. He's played a big quarter. Jimmy Cracker. The punch. Footscray looking more like the team that finished third in the VFL competition last year. Give me my head back, please. And uh, the umpire says there'll be a free kick. Strange decision. Matthew, uh, Martin Hanabry, uh, Matthew Hanabry, I should say. Uh, There's the decision German going, going against him, kick. Peter German. German's kick, wobbly. Hardy all over the ground. He was underneath that one. Segler down there. Rick Kennedy. Bit of the fumbles, Rick. Segler taps it out. Arsiri trying hard. Segler again using his weight to bullock his way through. Towards the boundary line. We'll have a throw in. Forward pocket for North Melbourne. And do they need a goal to steady? Certainly do. I would think that North Melbourne right now, their forward line, have, they've, uh, they've really got to get a goal here to stay in this game because Footscray have got to run on in this particular quarter. Anyway, the ball's tapped out. A uh, very strong uh, tap out. It's picked up in defence. North Melbourne now picked up the ball, kicking into the centre position there. Um, I can't see who that was. It looked like McCarthy. McCarthy trying his hardest, but it's been pulled out of the pack. Kicks clear into the centre. Two Footscray players uncontested there. How much time do you need? Nice little handball over to McPherson. McPherson picks up Hawkins, who's running like a lamb. Right down over the back there. Big kick down to the uh, forward flank position. Bamblet trying to get underneath it. Oh, he picks up the ball, grabs it out of the pack off the centre. Running around the pack now, drives it into the centre half forward position. Who does he find? They're all on his own. Nobody couldn't get marked there, but Royal looked like he could have then. And kick the ball and get the thing right down in the centre is what we're hearing uh, Kennedy saying. And Spargo did his best to clear the ball. Now picked up by Malin. Malin now driving the ball. This ball's going everywhere. They're really fighting it out now. Well, Bamblet now has got the Bamblet. ball. And Bamblet and uh, Malin have come into their own. Beasley has the ball snatched away from him. Oh, my gosh. 
and it's Malin again. And I tell you, I tell you what, that Malin has made all the difference in this quarter. I reckon he's had six or eight kicks, and he's really fired them. This fellow McGuinness is doing well. He's kicked uh, a goal, which fired them up. Back to Malin, killing them. Malin, the kick is poor. It's intercepted there. Beasley showing the most life he's shown for the whole match. Dives on top of it and will have a ball up. Another goal here to Footscray, which set the scene for a remarkable finish. And we've got a player being carried off down here. Peter Foster is off and on is Craig Somerville playing his first game. Here's a chance now. Hand pass over the top to Norman. Somerville sent in there to contest straight away. But North coming out of defence. Don't go. Oh, didn't quite see that one coming. Kicking, kicking now John McCarthy high kick and an, oh nice try Jonas caught with the ball the hand pass out finds German that McCarthy again McCarthy on the left foot looking for Segler Segler has the ball tapped away by Kennedy good play Kennedy they're all over him the umpire keeping a close eye on things and will bounce the ball North Melbourne must score a goal to keep in this game they're four points ahead they've come to a complete halt very clever play by Kennedy there where he uh, kept out Segler. Segler had one hand out, a very big boy to stop. Umpire throws the ball up now. North Melbourne very keen to score. The tap out is taken by Purser, picked up by German. No, but just as General was about to have a little shot. The umpire's found a free kick and it is going to go to Arsiri. Arsiri, Arsiri being very busy on the forward line. And, uh, he's kicked a couple of goals already and uh, this could be his second goal for this quarter. Yeah. Um, so let's have a look and see how he goes. Umpire didn't move too much. There you have it. A very important goal on the ball to our Siri. It takes now at the uh, 24 and a half minute mark of the third quarter. Footscray, six goals, 10-46. Trailing North Melbourne, seven goals, 14-56. That's a lead of 10 points that North Melbourne have got. And uh, let me tell you, I really think that North Melbourne have got the job ahead of if they want to stay in front. Footscray have got a run on, Steve. Footscray have kicked three goals, four this quarter. North Melbourne have kicked three goals, two. Ball down, Bursa takes the ball out of the air. Gosh, he's played a good game. Over to Hawkins, who's also shown just flashes of absolute brilliance out there on the wing. McPherson uses his weight well. North Melbourne run through. That's better looking football. Hardy there, and Hardy played a sterling game, whether in defence, roving around the ground, or up on the forward line where he uh, has kicked one goal too. The Brownlow medalist goes wide. Nice tap on that time by Stephen Hickey. But it's Hawkins. Hawkins can't control the ball. And over in front of the Medibank private sign, Dougie Hawkins turns to the crowd and says, what have I got to do? Here's the throw in. Purser and Jonas. Jonas that time gets the tap. It's Spargo. Puts Gray back into the centre of the ground. Cracker, Jimmy. Cracker, Phil. Cracker magic, he can't quite get it away. The umpire will come in and bounce. Well, I thought that, uh, you know, Phil Cracker had that ball in front of him. He was playing it hard. I thought he had full control. The umpire didn't give him much of a break then. I thought he could observe one. So he throws it up in the air now. Purser again taps the ball out of top. McDonald almost kicking in danger there as the ball is now cleared by Hickey again, who's been in this game in the last three. Kicks over to McCarthy. He's taken a nice solid mark. He's just got to find someone to kick it to now. Though I don't see any leads coming. And we've got Segler down the back line in the forward line, sitting back. Now he's found someone to kick it to. Anyone there? German was uh, beaten to the ball then. And Jeff. beaten well by Jeff too. Jeff saw it coming and intercepted. Takes his kick. McDonald and Purser. Purser kicking off the ground. Oh, and he had to contend with the head-on collision as well. The ball now kicked back towards the North Melbourne goal end. Decided to play him. Was caught cold there by Hardy, but the umpire said let it go. It was a strange piece of play there yes. by German, and Malin comes out with the ball. Play on. This must be kick number 10 for the quarter. We'll check that out at three-quarter time. But Malin been a, played a great part in the Footscray revival. There'll be a throw-in on the centre wing position in front of the coach's box. And the Footscray players getting a bit of a clap there from their very loyal fans. About 16,000 of them out here on a quite a uh, moderate and very pleasant day. Malin again. Well, not a particularly good kick that time, Philip. Good try by Royal. And we'll have another throw in. Well, here we are. We're two and a half minutes into the time on period. The low scoring game. I don't see this going much more than another minute or two. And uh, this is really setting itself up for a terrific final quarter. Again, Purser gets the tap out. 
picked up and handballed through to Hardy. Hardy kicks the ball down to the centre half forward position there. No one can take the mark. People ever actually breaks out of the pack with the ball, tries to get it across. Malin trying to break in under the pack of the people there. Law picks it up. Nobody can do anything with it. Handball everywhere. Ah, Kiri now kicking the ball out and finds who's that in the lead there. And uh, lovely strong mark taken in. Uh, yes, and he's and he decided to play on. Phil Cracker again. Oh, lovely when he's got the ball in his hands. Moved around the pack beautifully there. Spargo. Spargo having a driving shot for goal. Can he get up to Segler? No, it doesn't really matter because it's gone over the line and it's through for one point. So that takes now Footscray onto six goals, 10, 46 points. Trailing North Melbourne, 7, 15, 57. And we're at the 28 and the quarter minute mark of this third quarter at the Western Oval. Brought well, to you by Pro Football. The Footscray skipper, Rick Kennedy, steadying things right down. He knows the quarter's almost over. Goes to Doug Hawkins. A little bit of keepings off. Not a great kick by Doug. Back to his skipper. He'll get a game next week. Out to the wing. Purser. The handball under pressure. Malin using all the experience he's gained in over 100 games with Woodville, Footscray and Carlton. Tim Jepp. Case of the, the, the uh, fumbles. Malin, what a quarter he's played. And here we go, quarter. McPherson. McPherson the pass around to Bamblett. Bamblett drops the ball. Good interception then and Ackley to relieve the pressure for North Melbourne with a long driving torpedo back towards Purser. The umpire says there's a free kick, it'll go North Melbourne's way. Now uh, is this Norman, uh, sorry that's German. Yeah, how many touches he had today? Must be close to 20 now. Yeah, so he's had a big game, but German now in the wing position. That's a better looking kick from German. He's up looking for the great McCarthy who goes up and comes down before acceptance is. And the free kick will be taken by Murray Rance, who had the awesome task earlier of looking after Ross Glendinning, or vice versa. And I think Glendinning might have come out with the uh, the points. The Brownlow medalist off the ground at the moment. Here comes a chance for Footscray again. The handball woeful. A bit too quick for everyone. Jonas off the ground. The hand pass over. It's to Dwyer. Dwyer can't handle it. He's had a tough job today on Hawkins. And there's the siren. Three-quarter time in the Pro Football Match of the Day at the Western Oval. Sees North Melbourne 7 15 57, Footscray 6 10 46, and the match is poised for a great last quarter. You're with Pro Football's match of the day at the Western Oval between Footscray and North Melbourne, and what a corker of a last quarter coming your way. North Melbourne 7 15 57, Footscray 6 10 46, as umpire Rich comes in to bounce the ball and get the action underway. Purser. Up against Segler. Young Segler, a raw bone Ruckman. It's the tap down. Footscray back into attack. Showed some great football in that third quarter. Could have been a bit of an interference there. North Melbourne with the ball over to Jimmy Cracker. Faded a little in the third quarter. Puts the ball to the ground. Torpedo out to the, out to the wing. Hawkins is underneath it. He'll be first to the ball. Picks it up. Ever so cool. Back towards the centre of the ground to Purser. Purser and Brad Hardy. Hardy having 19 kicks for the match so far. Been an outstanding player. Phil Malin coming into his own in the last two quarters. Having 15 possessions in the last quarter. Down towards Beasley at full forward. He takes the mark. Yes, this is a time of the day when you like to see Beasley come good. He's been known to come good in the last quarter. Licked himself for a couple of quick goals. and uh, It would have come good too. He's had one kick for the match so far and kicked one goal. He's taken the mark. McCann has played very well on him today. But Beasley used his body then, used his experience. He's got the mark, he's 20 metres out, he's directly in front. I think he'd swim home to Western Australia if he missed this one. He kicked 105 goals last year to hit the VFL goal kicking. Comes in. His kick, straight through the middle. And the scoreboard, the pro football scoreboard here at the Western Oval. Footscray, 7-10-42. A 52, that is, North Melbourne, 7, 15, 57. A kick the difference. And that windsock down there at the Geelong Road end, just showing some movement, and it's all favouring Footscray. Certainly is a pro football, uh, pro football day to day, and uh, with the uh, Footscray crowd certainly really starting to cheer now. They can sense at least catching up to North Melbourne and taking the game right up to them. As we see, the ball now being brought back in. A good mark, and Beasley needed to take that. I think his confidence might have been a bit down today. A mark like that might help him. Just the man, as I said before, that if he lifts his game now, and he's been playing well within himself, he can certainly make all the difference between the two teams. The ball is thrown up now. Royal waiting down. Purser up against Segler. Segler gets the knockout, one of the rare occasions to beat Purser. Royal picks up the ball, scoops out of the back, drops it onto the right foot. Nobody can get to the ball. They're bashed on by Bamblett. Chased him by Footscray, shepherding going on. 
No matter which way you look at him, McPherson trying hard, but oh, North Melbourne in defence coming back out. Handball over through McCann. Over to North Melbourne player who kicks it down on the ground, looking for a safe mark by Phil Cracker, who plays to his brother as usual, runs into trouble. Umpire calls play on. Great back up then by Phil Cracker. Has the bounce, got a paddock in front of him. It's the longest ground in league football, and he's looking to use all of it. Bad hand pass. And North Melbourne lose the ball. McPherson, Rod, over to Hawkins. Hawkins, a high kick, looking for Bamble. That's uncontested. John Kennedy going mad in the room next door, we can tell you. Bamblet, drop punt, high. He's looking for Beasley again. And Beasley takes it. He's given a hand and a little yes. bit of a match. When we have a look at the replay here, you'll see Beasley, he's played from the back position all day, uses his experience, grabs the ball, it's a one-grabber. And Simon Beasley, a matter of a metre and a half out, chance for his third goal, second in a matter of seconds, and this will put Footscray in front. Beasley, a little bit of a prop in the run, the kick straight through the middle, and the Bulldogs are in front, and the crowd here at the Western Oval are going mad, and so they should too, because Footscray have got out of the grave. Footscray, 8-10-58, lead North Melbourne, 7-15, and those 15 behinds have been deadly. 57, the margin of point on the Pro Football scoreboard. And very interesting to watch then too, Simon Beasley, some people might think watching this, that uh, Simon Beasley pushed McCann in the back, but in fact McCann being a very good back, was deliberately backing up onto Beasley to try and upset him and get him out from underneath the ball. Beasley stood his ground and took a lovely strong mark, and as I said, it looks like Beasley may have just lifted himself at the right time. We bounce the ball again, Purser versus McDonald. McDonald uh, drops the ball to the ground and a pick up by Arkiri, who drops the ball down to the centre half forward position. Nobody can take the mark. Scooped off the pack by Footscray. Kicked up there to the centre wing position. Brad Hardy takes the ball on the rebound, dropping that there in a safe mark, taken by McGuinness. McGuinness drops back, looking for the player running through. Nobody running through decides to settle it up, and here's Beasley leading out again. Oh, Beasley, he certainly picks the right times to lift his game, this fella. He left McCann shortstop then, uh, which is not like McCann. However, it didn't look as though that the ball was going to carry that far. Beasley ran right out. He's a fair distance out. I'd have to put him at about 35 to 40 metres out. He's got the sun shining right in his face. Not that that's going to worry him. Well, he Taking won't have to worry kick. about getting a suntan. <laughs> Taking his kick now. Umpire has not moved. It's another goal. Footscray now going to nine goals, 10, 64 points. Leading North Melbourne, 7-15-57. Let's have a look at that on replay as McGuinness just sees Beasley make the move, a long skimming pass, and Simon Beasley takes the ball, his third mark in a matter of moments, the conversion relatively simple, and Beasley's gone from being a one-kick player in three quarters to a four-goal player, and a man who's turned the corner for Footscray. Back in the centre, it's Purser with a tap down, looking for Rod McPherson, the experienced John Law. Kicks at the wall high down towards centre half back. The mark taken, a nice mark taken down there by Peter Foster. Runs around. The kick, a high, a high soaring kick up over the back. No one able to take the mark. Tapped over the boundary line by McPherson. McPherson didn't like that either. And uh, he didn't like that little bit of a knee in the back. And uh, he told Stephen Hickey so. Painful little injury. There, there are runners coming from everywhere to help him out the throw in. McCann, he's off Beasley now, he's into the ruck, gets the ball down, North Melbourne into attack, the tap down. Baxter to Royal, they're off and running, over to McGuinness, too high for McGuinness, and he's too tall Ackerley, gets the run on. He's coming out here to Baxter again, got all the time in the world, uncontested, he's got the opportunity to handball, and does so, Saunders, to Bamblin, he's pushed out. The umpire says there'll be a free kick or a mark, and it will go to McCann. He had to do something about moving McCann because he was going mad uh, in next door, John Kennedy. Yeah, so I think it's a good idea now to shift McCann off him and let uh, Segler get down there. Segler's a big boy, he can upset him. He can I push think he him might be too slow. Around. Might be a little bit too slow, but uh, what else can you do? I think you've got to bring McCann, who's played a good game all day, you've got to bring him in to be a bit more constructive in the play. Well, with Glenn Dinning off the ground, North have lost their pivotal uh, defender. Yes, that's and, right. And uh, it's take... been very, a very bad blow for them. But this is Tim Jepp. Jepp's unloaded. He's played a good game on Jonas today. 
And uh, the umpire will come in. He's found a free kick. It'll go to North Melbourne. Just while we've got, go to yeah, just while we've got championship wrestling going on, it's interesting that um, there's only been four kicks by Beasley for four goals. And as a, and as a percentage, that's exactly what four forwards are supposed to do. If Peter Jonas has the ball, he should have no trouble with the distance. Kicking across the breeze. Lines up. The wobbly old torpedo. It's going to just hook around at the last minute and through for a behind. And that makes the margin now um, just one straight goal. Peter Jonas has kicked two behinds. And we wait now for Rick Kennedy, the Footscray skipper. Put the ball back into play. I think he'd go uh, out to that far flank. It's a great looking kick. Looking for Hawkins. Oh, Footscray away and running again. It's Royal. Finally, oh, he's scragged just as he kicks the ball. Coming through now, it's Rance. Back to Royal. The kick, a high one. Looking for Bamlett or Beasley. Segler misses the mark. Backs up well. He's caught with the ball. The umpire says, play on. Bamlett, round on the, on the left foot, goes for the hand pass over to Hardy. Hardy with a hand pass here. Chance for Footscray. Can they pick it up? Oh, whack in the head then. The umpire says, play on. Crackers bustled out of the way. McPherson, he puts it through. Rob McPherson, run a goal to Footscray. They move to 10, 10, 70. They're two goals in front. And the crowd here are going wild, and so they should. Yes, that was a terrific goal. Bamblett had first of all picked up the goal and scooped onto the ball. Straight after he scooped onto the ball, Brad Hardy had a go, was heavily tackled. He got rid of it. And as you can see now, there's a lovely goal scored as it was then picked up and McPherson snapped it straight through. Footscray full of running now, looking exceptionally good. Royal has been playing good all day, but particularly lifted his game this quarter. And uh, what more can you say? I think the pictures well, speak for themselves. Behind the play, it was on again between Baxter, number 35, and Jimmy Cracker, but uh, they've managed to cool that down. Back in the centre, McCann showing a bit more life in the ruck after playing so well at full back and being taken off uh, Beasley. Is just doing a few nice things. We see Atkins get the ball across to Norman. He's tackled high. Spargo picks it up. He's on his left foot. Chips it in, looking for German. German dummies. He's going to get caught. Caught with the ball. Puts Gray away, and they're away through Peter Baxter. Yes, the umpire called play on there. As now we see uh, Malin again having another possession. The hand balls through again over to McGinnis. McGinnis on his own. He can have a run here. Looking for someone to kick it to. He's going to go for a goal. Straight over the top. It looks pretty good. Now by St. Jess, it's a goal, a brilliant goal, and Footscray full of running now, that's his second goal for the quarter. That takes Footscray now in 11 goals, 10, 76 points, leading North Melbourne, 7, 16, 58. And, and that started in... right down there on the back line with Peter yeah. Baxter getting it across to Royal, the ball being driven around there, and then finally we saw McGuinness pick the ball up. He's a cool player, this South Australian, and he's driven it straight through for Footscray's 11th goal. 11 goals, 10, 76, North 7, 16, 58 on the pro football scoreboard, and the match has turned all Footscray. Yes, well, there's a bit of a scramble, so Bounce to know he's found a free kick. We're at the ten and a half minute mark in this final quarter. Royal. We've got a free kick being taken. Royal, he's had four kicks this quarter at least, I'm sure. Another big driving kick. They're playing it straight down the centre now, but Ackley on his own. Oh, he didn't take the mark. He should have. It was uncontested. Everyone's in there. The ball's down to the ground. The umpire says, no, we'll pay the kick to Jimmy Cracker. Well, Jimmy Cracker's faded out in the second half, and with him has North Melbourne. The loss of Glenn Dinning, the fading of uh, Jimmy Cracker, as we see um, Dwyer. Here's Puts a the ball across to Norman and Ackley, who's been one of their most consistent players all day. Here's a chance for North now. German, one bounce. He'll run into an open goal, slide it through. Goal to North Melbourne, is it? Yes. Yes, it is. That's North's eight. They move to 8 16 64. They're two goals behind Footscray, who've uh, kicked so far this quarter five goals. Yes, well, I wouldn't let, uh, wouldn't say that North Melbourne are going to lay down for this. We've had a couple of factors here, I think. You've got Beasley lifting his game at long last, uh, four kicks for four goals. Um, you've got uh, the loss of, uh, as you say, Glenn Denning before. You see uh, Jimmy Cracker, who's gone off the boil a little bit. And a few of the players, like in the third quarter, Malin getting about ten kicks for the quarter. Brilliant player. Uh, generally speaking, this game is really set now for an exciting last 20 minutes. Royal gets the ball off the bounce of the pack. Kicks it down to the centre half forward position. And McGuinness again. Oh, Bamblett, I should say. Royal running past Bamblett. Shocking kick to the ground. Intercepted by Hickey. Hickey takes the ball, handballs it out. No one in contention. Driving that down to the centre wing position. There we see two players have been hassling around all day. Ball back into play now in the centre wing position. Jep. Scooped up in the air there. 
good Saunders ball and out of, uh, ball out of, out of bounds. Uh, there was good pressure. I mean, but the the play was looking dangerous. So we see the ball being thrown in now on the outer side of the ground. Purser again getting the tab at the ball down. Very scrambly play. They're getting desperate now. Umpire says, let's have another go. I think with Smith out of the North Melbourne lineup in defence and having to use McCann down there, they've uh, lost their key ruckman around the ground with Lyle out injured. Um, they've had Donald McDonald down at full forward. Segler, I don't think, is the answer yet. He's shown some potential. He took some nice grabs up forward. His kicking let him down. And, uh, and then on top of that, without, without Glenn Dinning, they haven't got Schimmelbush and Larkin. They're only a shadow of the side that really was a contender last year. Absolutely, and we've just seen some passages of play there where you've got a lot of tackling. There's no way known that North Melbourne are going to lay down for this game. They're really going to keep this fight going. They've had the winning, the ascendancy most of the day. Footscray full of running. They've just got to pull them up. Purser, one of the best on the ground today for sure. Jep, fresh air hand pass. He was heavily tackled by Cracker there. Malin again, another kick clearing away to the centre wing position. Can anybody scoop it up? Yes, it's picked up by McCann, who's been moved off to the full back position from Beasley, and he's been very effective too. Certainly have a great field. Oh, oh, a lovely strong mark. And let's tell you that, it, uh, that, that young Hanabry, he looked pretty good in defence then too. I think Hanabry will wake up tomorrow feeling as if he's been through the presses. <laughs> yes. And it's Purser. What a game. Touches the ball to the ground. He's going for the lock and kick. In fact, it's so long it's been marked by the man in the grey raincoat five rows back. <laughs> we wait now yeah. for the penalty free kick to be taken. Who's it going to? Can't quite pick that player yeah, out. I think him as a solid looking boy. I've got an idea that might be. Uh, Could well be uh, German. Yeah. German's long torpedo into centre half forward. The great McCarthy's there, but he can't mark it. It's been taken by number 36, Matthew Hanabry again. Hanabry back to Purser. We saw this move just a moment ago. Purser's kicks a little more careful. John Law going for the punch. Good anticipation by Footscray there in front. Here's the Beasley chance for showing pace. Turn of pace. Segler left behind there. He's fumbling. Laurie, there's Bamblett. He's held. And this is a big one for Footscray coming up. Bamblett back in the side. Hasn't kicked the goal. He's a matter of 35 metres out. He's dead in front. And Liz Bamblett has the chance now that shows to you put Footscray 18 points up. That shows you the inexperience of... Um Segler then, he had the ball, he knew he shouldn't have grabbed the man on the forward line, he got underneath it, made a mistake, a frustration and youth I suppose. The fumble wasn't good, he no. was too slow for Beasley, and then uh, to give away the free kick, well, I suppose that might have been understandable, but Bamblett comes in, the kick, nothing wrong with that one, goal number 12 for Footscray, they move to 12, 10, 82, and they're now three goals ahead of North Melbourne, 8, 16, 64, on the pro football scoreboard here in our match of the day at the Western Oval. 15 and a quarter minute mark. Looking at again, we look at Segler, make the mistake, and Bamworth accepts and later converts. Yes, uh, very unfortunate uh, for North Melbourne that could happen, but then again, you play youth, you've got to start with youth to get them going, and uh, that's the way he's a big solid player. Mind you, he hasn't made too many mistakes today. Well, yeah, he's, he's made, made a number in front of goal. Unfortunately, yeah. yeah so. And those two or three goals might have made all the difference as we see Jimmy Cracker burst through the centre. Find McCarthy. McCarthy can't hold on to the ball. Fights back well. And the umpire will come in and bounce the ball. Young John McCarthy from North Hobart playing his first game. And what a tough game it is. A free kick going to Peter Jonas. Jonas keeping the ball here, number 45. He's going for the long kick. Donald McDonald's down there, up against Kennedy. Kennedy taps the ball down. Brad Hardy more than content to rush it through for a behind 17 points, the margin. Yes, yeah, so we can see now that you've got 25 scoring shots to 22 scoring shots, so uh, it's inaccurate kicking of North Melbourne, which are putting him out of this game as well. As we see the kick out, no, not quite. A, uh, Kennedy looking for someone to kick it to. There's been a bit of mucking around there on the back line. He's looking for Hardy, but kicked over the top of Hardy, and that looks like it's been picked up by Baxter. Baxter now takes his kick, kicking down to the forward pocket zone or the forward flank position. Scooped up out of the air there, handballed out of the way. Brad, Brad Hardy coming in to meet it. Can't quite get his hands to it, and they're scuffling everywhere. North Melbourne, handball. Cracker, Baxter. Oh, this is a good tussle going there, but really between the two of them, no one really wanted to get their hands to the ball. Over the line, but a good tussle there, and the crowd accepts that one too. They agree, and there's a big hand for them. So here we see now at the 17-minute uh, mark, we're throwing in on the uh, centre wing position. Oh, sorry, forward pocket position of uh, 
North Melbourne's end. Footscray clearing kick down to Hawkins again. has been terrific today. He's had a lot of kicks. Down to the forward pocket zone and forward flank position. McCann again. He's been very good today. Another kick left footer driving it down. Who can he find? That should be German. German. Yes, and German again. He's had a lovely day. He's probably had about 25 kicks. Down our oh, hand over the shoulder. The umpire hasn't seen that. Played the advantage rule. That's love. Yes. Love is cool. Love. Yeah. And back to McCarthy. McCarthy, line, uh, love, I should say, lines up. Well, that was very obvious with the hand over the shoulder then too, but obviously the umpire didn't see that. And if he did, when he did pay the advantage rule, he really... Uh, oh, he's going to give him another shot, I think. Free kick will go to Rick Kennedy. Yes. Kennedy playing on straight away. Over there, finding Baxter. Been a consistent player, Baxter. Long kick. No mark taken down there by McPherson. Jeff underneath it. Can't really grab it. The ball finally heading towards the boundary line. Good play there on that occasion Hickey. by Hickey. Hickey to Jonas. Jonas loses his balance. Over to Phil Cracker. Cracker looks for the pass. The pass is on Hawkins there. Dwyer too. But finally sneaking through all of them is Norman. Norman going wide. Our series out there. Got a paddock. The handball's on to Dwyer. Dwyer caught. Back to our series. Our series runs into goal. Long hand pass. Caught is he? Hand. Oh, it's a nice goal then. Goal to Darren Steele. Yeah, lovely goal. North Melbourne, 9-17, 71. 11 points behind Footscray. And North Melbourne now, it's their turn to fight back. What an interesting game. And that was an interesting goal too. Why he just didn't sink the boot in and kick that goal, I don't know. But nonetheless, he, he did uh, put, <coughs> pardon me, he did put Darren Steele under pressure there. Uh, he was able to turn around on his foot, as you can see, and scoop around on his right foot and bang, put it straight through. So North Melbourne certainly still in this game with 11 points of difference, but they'd better get a move on because we're just heading up to the 19 and a half minute mark. As we see the ball being bounced, Purser and McCann. Gee, McCann's played more positions than I've ever seen one day for him. And uh, the umpire's found a free kick against Royal. No, it's going to go Footscray's way and it's right, going to be taken by Stephen Wallace. Right, Wallace. Wallace now to take his kick. Going back into the centre of the ground. High kick out there. And the mark taken ever so easily by McCann. The hand pass over to Ackley. Ackley plays on. Drop punt high and wide. Good mark taken out there. Nice mark taken by Norman. All on his own, really. Only one to make a real effort for it. Norman looks for the pass. North coming right back into this game. They haven't given up by any manner of me or means. Footscray looking to stop running, Steve, don't they? A little bit. Steele caught well. The crowd out here, 18196 and they paid $36,631. So we weren't far off. The ball up. Well, the crowd Half certainly come to life, haven't they, now? And there's 18,000 voices all Footscray, I think. <laughs> well, it's a nice close game, really. Two goals in football in 1986 is nothing. Tim Jepp kicks it back, finds a teammate down there. Hawkins on the left. The wood set a half forward. Bamblet and his man playing pushy. Nice knock on from McPherson. Over to uh, McGuinness. McGuinness's hand passes a shocker. Beasley gets the ball out. There's no assistance. Royal runs through. North steadying down there. Segler with that awkward kicking style. He finds Atkins. Atkins goes to the boundary line. One bounce and over. Right on the practice wicket area here. And uh, what a thriller, 11 points. The Bulldogs lead the ruse. Pro football bringing in a big one from the Western Oval and it's been a thriller, especially since half time. McPherson in there, pushing the back and that's the way the umpire saw it. He wasn't in possession of the ball. Arsiri to take the free kick right in front of the EJ Witten stand. And you can imagine how many North Melbourne supporters that'd be in that stand. Hardly a grunt. Purser. The umpire says play on. Might have been a rough decision. It's Jeff. Oh, he's caught. Caught high. Steal the man. And uh, Tim Jeff didn't like that at all. The throw in. Purser playing from behind that time. Jonas in front. Footscray. Screw it back. The bounce will be awkward. McPherson gets it out. Oh, in the back perhaps. No, says the umpire. 
Steel in there again, Cracker in there, everyone's in there, the umpire's coming in, he'll bounce the ball. Everybody's in there, the pressure is certainly on, these two teams getting desperate now, they're throwing themselves in so hard, and really this game is lifted, you wouldn't compare this game from the first quarter to what's going on now, this is real footy we've got on our hands now, as we see McCann going up in the ruck against Purser, tap down to the ball in, again we see Malin having about his 300th kick for the day, straight to Ackley, uncontested, McGuinness it was your fault then, you should have been watching him, Ackley runs away, drives the ball into the centre of the ground, Who's coming in there to meet it? But um, now Hanabry, Hanabry has a driving kick back up in the centre forward position. McGuinness misses it. Cracker takes it. Has a look for someone. It's Love. Love coming out there. Couldn't quite get his hands to the ball. Scooped up. Picked over the right hand side by Steele. Steele to German. Oh, gee whiz. Yeah, the stack's on the mill again. The umpire just let that go. No, free kick, he's pulled out a free he's kick. Found one. He was a little bit slow with his whistle then too. It's going to go to Hanabry. Yes, Hanabry now to take his kick on the left forward pocket. Driving up to the centre wing position. Purser on his own should take this. No, he didn't. Scoops it on though. Picked up. Driven down by McPherson. McPherson drives the ball down. Looking for Royal. They can't get under it. Bamblett's there. Between the two of them, what can they do? North Melbourne struggling desperately here. Desperate football. And a clearing kick. Oh, this will be interesting. There's, there's a big person comes in, in there. Oh, oh good person and fairly. That's what it's all and about. McGinnis McGinnis has picked it up. He's kicked it up looking for Beasley. Beasley there, and he's taken it right in the goal square. And uh, McGinnis oh. has been flattened after he kicked the ball. But it was a beautiful bump back here to McPherson, which set that up, used his body superbly, and Fairley was the one who went down. The ball finally picked up by McGuinness, shot down into the square. Simon Beasley's kicked four. Here comes goal number five. This will be the steadier. This will be the match winner at the 25-minute mark. Footscray 13-10, 88. A 17 points ahead of North Melbourne. 9, 17, 71 on the Pro Football scoreboard. Beasley had one kick in three quarters and has kicked four match-winning goals for Footscray in the last. Well, there you go, you see, that's right. Five kicks and five goals, as we've said before. If that's what a job full forward's got to do, then so be it. But um, it's, it's been unlucky, really, that he hasn't had a couple of other kicks. But still, nonetheless, it's uh, Footscray now looking extremely comfortable, 17 points in front. And the way things are going, I don't think that North Melbourne's got enough time to peg it back, as we see Purser again winning the knock at the ball down to the ground. Hardy trying to get out of the ground there. Couldn't do anything with it. Picked up again by Purser, who's in everything all day today. Ball again cleared out by Hickey. Hickey a driving kick down to the centre forward position with a safe mark taken by Jepp in defence. Jepp being hassled a little bit there. Goes back to take his kick. Looking for someone to kick it to. Down to the outer wing position. Uncontested. Well at this stage they should just play, play possession. Well they might Three as well. goals ahead with five minutes to go. There's no need to do anything flash. Another score would be a bonus. Just keep the ball and don't do anything silly. Baxter has a kick and drives it now down to the forward flank position as we see another mark taken by McCann. He's had a terrific day for North Melbourne. He's done everything he possibly can at the moment. Now the ball driven down. Steel it is. Top steel. Oh, he's in a bit of trouble. Oh, stolen there too. Back to McPherson. Driven up near Purser. Can Purser pick it up? It's a long way down, back isn't it? It's for a big fellow like that. Hand pulls himself out of danger. Straight to Malin. Malin now drops the ball over. Who are we looking for? Hand pass over. Straight down the ground. Here we go. Does it look good? Heading down towards a 4-4 position. Ken, no. It's a... Yes, yes Wallace. He had himself was... set then. Wallace's kick was right on yes, target. Yes, he was too. Absolutely. And, and uh, <laughs> you know, I think that you find that, that uh, Beasley likes to play from behind. The ball just didn't have enough lift to carry forward. The scoreboard now. Footscray 13-11. They're exactly 18 points ahead. So... Even to draw, North Melbourne need three goals, and I think as Fairley kicks this one, it might be well beyond them. 27-minute mark as the ball is now kicked out. Down to the wing position, two Footscray players. And uh, Jimmy Cracker, the umpire says, we'll throw it in. There's another tussle. They really like to get in amongst of these fellas, and uh, Jep not happy to be pushed around by uh, Cracker on the forward line there, on pushed I over think, the line. I think what might have happened then was as Jep went down, um, I think Jimmy might have trod on his fingers, and uh, I don't think he accidentally, of course, Steve. Bit. Yeah. He's done a fair job today, Jep. But as the ball's pushed down, we see Rance. Oh, he's caught. Gets his boot to the ball. The umpire says it took him too long. I tend to agree. And the free kick will go North Melbourne's Love. way to be taken by Jason Love. Love's drop punt down into the forward pocket, down over the back. 
Watford's great offence through Baxter. Over to Brad Hardy, who's played a corker of a game. Looking for McPherson. McPherson taps it down brilliantly, looking for Rance. Over to Malin, who in my mind turned the game for Footscray. Andrew Purser, best man on the ground. Looking for Beasley. Beasley out in front. Gets past everyone. There was no one at long stop. It's John Law. Over to Dwyer. Hawkins has done a good job on him. I think might have taken the points. But Hawkins, uh, Dwyer still trying very hard. He's a classy player. Back towards the wing position. It's Jim Cracker off the ground. Ball being tapped along. Soccer style, FA Cup style. Jonas. Arsiri. Arsiri's kick towards goal. Kennedy's there. Did he touch it? I don't think he did. No, it's he Arsiri's goal. And that's his fourth. North Melbourne, 10, 17, 77. Still trailed by two goals. We've been playing 28 minutes and 10 seconds in this final quarter. Mm. And Footscray, with one quarter of football, a quarter and a half perhaps, have gotten up and stolen this game. Yes, well, if they're going to do anything now, North Melbourne, they better hurry up. I'd say it only about a minute and a half to go at maximum. They better get some good clearing kicks. I can't see it happening, but then anything can happen in football. Well, As, we've only uh, got a matter of moments now. And yeah. Really, when you look down and you have a look at the reasons for Footscray's turnabout, Beasley coming into the match in the last quarter. I think the fact that they've had Purser on top all day. This fellow, Stephen Wallace, kicking the ball now, has played a terrific game in the middle. And the fact that North Melbourne lost Glenn Dinning. Yeah, so Malin's turn of speed in the third quarter was brilliant yeah, too. He really Malin's helped fantastic. The but losing Glenn Dinning, who yes. was far and away their best player and their key defender, um, from that moment on, they were never really in the hunt. But the ball down here, Arsiri, who's rogued well, over to Phil Cracker, who with Jimmy blitzed them in the second quarter. Ackley, their best defender, down towards Kennedy, who takes the mark. And don't the Footscray crowd love it when their skipper takes the big one? Certainly do. So Kennedy driving it down to Hardy again. They're content to play around a bit now. As long as they've got the ball in their position, they'll play it wide down the flanks, kicking it through to the centre of the ground, but keeping it out wide of the centre. Oh, and a lovely strong mark taken there by Rance. Rance now decides to go back and settle down. They're not in a hurry now, Footscray. They don't need to do much. They've got two goals up on North Melbourne. Time is running out. He'll go back and settle down. Beasley having a lead, as I can see there, but there's no point now. He's going to have a shot. He might as well. Everybody else has been kicking goals today. Lovely long driving kick. No one can get the ball. He's knocked down to the ground there. Hawkins contesting the ball heavily with Dwyer. Hawkins wins, taps it through. No, he still gets caught. Oh, picked up by Ackley. He's played a great game. Bambler was tackling him. Not much he could do about it. McGuinness is into everything. They're all into it. North Melbourne players, left, right and centre, trying hard to uh, clear the ball there. Now it's driven down to the centre wing position. That uh, was Atkins. By that Atkins. Time, Good old Atkins. He's uh, been in and out of the game today. Um, over to... Here we can't quite pick up the number anyway. It doesn't matter. He kicked on down to the forward flank position. Coming out to meet, there was a foot scrape player. That was uh, Sanders. Sanders. Saunders. Saunders. Back towards the wing position. Two foot scrape players down behind play. Uh, Hardy grabbed by the ankle, and that's the way the umpire sees it. Um, I would think that Hardy and Purser, the two West Australian stars, um, would be battling it out for the best of field votes. Hardy, by sheer dint of about 26 kicks and a number of handballs, he's kicked a goal, he's roved all over the ground and shown how a Brownlow medalist can just dominate a game. Looking for his mate Purser. Footscray back into attack again. Here's a chance for Beasley. Beasley will kick this one. All he's got to do is get there. Off the ground, goal number six. Five for the quarter to Simon Beasley. One kick for the remainder of the match and he's ended up with six goals from six kicks and the Melbourne stockbroker is a percentage man. He's a figures man and six straight would be a good day's work the young Simon Beasley. Well, that was a classical one for kids looking at that because uh, there was no point in trying to pick the ball up. He balanced himself and dropped the foot as the ball bounced up to meet it and straight through. And Doesn't matter how you do it. That takes the, the pro football scoreboard here. Footscray, 14-11, 95, North Melbourne, 10-17, 77. The margin, 18 points. Footscray back into attack again in the dying moments of this game. John Law takes it on the chest. He'll go back and have his kick. Game all over. Les Bamblett being applauded as he walks off around the boundary by the Ted Whitten stand. The siren sounds. Footscray have got up 14 11 95. North Melbourne 10 17 77 on the Pro Football scoreboard. You want to be a real footballer? I've been a real footballer. You've got to look like a real footballer. You've 
got to go for the mark. The VFL mark. Go for the mark. Go, go for, for the, the mark. mark. Go, go for the mark. VFL mark at Maya. Real footy guernseys, real footy shorts, and real supporters wear jumpers in all club colours and badges. Go for the VFL mark at Maya. What an amazing turnaround by Footscray. And really, although we shouldn't go on statistics, Simon Beasley's tell the story. Up to three quarter time, it looked as though it had only one kick for one goal. And yet, he finished the day with six goals. That shows how the Footscray side finished. Simon was their principal scorer, as I said, with six goals. Tony McGuinness, the young boy originally from Glenelg in South Australia, finished the day with two goals, while for North Melbourne, Mark Arsiri contributed four goals and Peter German two. North, despite losing today, retained sixth spot on the ladder, but they are still two games out of the five. They have 12 premiership points for the season. Footscray lie in eighth position on the ladder and have joined North Melbourne and Richmond all on 12 points. So that battle particularly for fifth spot on the ladder is really hotting up. And if you like hot action, you can catch it each and every week, courtesy of Pro Football. Simply go to your club or your favourite video store and ask for the game of your choice. Thank <laughs> you.